protect our children and justice. Let me be the God that will protect our children. Destiny? Can this be changed? Can something be done to avert this? No! No! It is not possible. This cannot happen. Nemiri. Nemiri Wanyobioma. Mother of peace and love. You can't allow this to happen. Please, talk to me. Tell me what to do to stop this calamity. Talk to me, Nemiri. Speak to me, Nemiri. Nemiri, arise. Nemiri, arise. Nemiri, arise. Nemiri, arise. Arise, Nemiri, great mother of peace. Arise, Nemiri, great goddess of truth and justice. Arise, Nemiri, great mother of protect our children. Isube? Yes, Chioma. What is it? And why are you crying? Nothing, I'm fine. You know you just lied. You didn't even notice when I walked in. You were lost in thoughts and tears on your face. Something is definitely wrong and you must tell me. Chioma, I said I am fine. It's nothing serious. Isube, please stop this. You can confide in me. Listen, I can be of help. Talk to me. My father is back. <coughs> Papa. Papa. <coughs> Papa. No. Come, Papa. Ah, Chiama, my daughter. Mm -hmm. How are you and your parents? We are fine, Papa. Papa, how are they today? Oh, very, very fantastic. Mm -hmm. As you can see. My customers like the chicken and wine, and I sold everything off. Papa, I can see the gallons are empty. Oh, really, they are empty. Please take this uh, cake inside. Okay, Papa. And fetch me something to eat. I am hungry. But I will prepare your food, right? Do that. Let me go inside. All right, Papa. Oh, oh. Super. You know we are not done with our discussion yet. Give it up, Choma. There's nothing to discuss. No. I'm done with this. Namo Namo as he won him away. Namo Namo as he won him away. Namo Mamma Nobu Panemu. Namma John John Nobu Panemu. Hey, as in me. Oh, one ya got a water clean up, and the Mother of peace and love, I have served you for so many years and you have never disappointed me, not for once. Mm. You bless and fought for those that served you diligently. Ah. 
mother of peace and love. You have never turned your back on your own. Not at any time. Hmm. Just wait to leave this godforsaken village and return back to the city so I can live a very normal life. Hey, hey, hey. My G, hmm? are you trying to tell me that you've been living an abnormal life here in this village? My thought you've been busy enjoying all those uh, local champions. <laughs> in this village. <laughs> me? Uh, enjoy. What am I enjoying? What will I be doing with all this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me. Da, da, da. No, da, da, da. Nah, you know it's not possible. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you a simple truth. Okay. Life in this village is, is not worth it. It's not worth it. The life in the city is far much better than the here. Right. Our colleagues over there in the city are doing very well. Most of them have even secured good jobs for themselves. But here we are in this village. Just suffering. We don't even have hope of getting a, new, a good job when we live here. Come on, think about this thing now. And you are telling me, enjoy, what, what are we enjoying? There's that, nothing to enjoy, my brother. Oh, you know the enjoy, um, now tell me. Uh, when you leave this village, what will happen to Neka? <laughs> what will happen to Rosemary? <laughs> what happened to the robot girl? <laughs> yes, the door is open. Come right in. You said. <laughs> hey. John, good day. How are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm not dizzy. Please, can I see you outside? Outside? Uh, bro, don't worry. Let me just. Go back to my room. Uh, maybe we will talk another time. Mm. My life. I'll see you. I'll take you. Uh, thanks, man. All right, bro. Yeah. Take care. My love. What is the problem? Why is troubling you? Is anyone sick? Did anyone die? No. You know I don't let see you in this mood. Talk to me. What is the problem? 
I think I'm pregnant. What? How did it happen? Now does he... What is the meaning of how did it happen? Are you going to seriously deny me at this point? No, 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 no. I, uh, pardon my manners. And I'm sorry for sounding that way. I, I never meant to ask the question. I'm sorry. See, I don't know what to do right now. It is a taboo in our community for a girl to get pregnant outside the weight I need to remove this thing before anyone finds out. Why? No way. I disagree with you. Ah. No, this is what I mean by no way. Listen. If anyone finds out that I am pregnant outside wedlock, I will face the rot of the land. I will be treated like an outcast. And that, that I cannot bear. I just, I just want to remove this thing. I only came here for you to give me money so I can take it out. That's why I'm here. I, I, fine, I, 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 still, I still stand my ground. She, she, she can't terminate the pregnancy. Um, okay, um. I will marry you. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> what me? I, I don't understand. Nadozi, let me remind you that you are just an ordinary copper. Now tell me, where will you have that kind of money to meet up with our people's high demand of traditional rights? Tell me. How are we going to survive after the wedding? Uh, you see, um, I'm a man. You see, after our youth service, I, 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 I will get a job. I will, I will apply for a job. I will get a job. Then um, I will take care of you. You see, I, I will hustle. I will hustle. I will show them my responsibilities. Okay? Are you serious? Yes, I, I am serious. I crossed my hand. I love you so much. You're my world best. I love you. Ah, yeah, are gathering. Dark clouds are seriously gathering on this great kingdom. Mm. How? How did we get to this point? Calamity. Calamity is about to befall this great kingdom. No. I weep. I weep because my heart is so heavy. My heart is so heavy for this kingdom for what is about to go. No. Mimi. Mimi. Why? Where are you? Mimi. Gods of our land. Gods! 
have you forsaken us? Have you abandoned us at this time? No. Oh. Enyogugu. Enyogugu. Who will save you? Who will save you from this danger? I was about to fall. To them, baby, we must go. Ahe, abugini neme. Eya, iye de ubu neme. Ahe, abugini neme. Eya, iye de ubu neme. Neme rewind you do. Mother of peace, my love. <laughs> Mother. Yes, my son. The food tastes so nice. I really like it. I'm going to like it. I prepared it because I know it's your favorite. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. Is it? I can't remember when I had a meal as good as this. You're welcome, my son. Well, don't worry, my dear. You are back. Anything you like, you will eat. I, I trust your mother. She is equal to that. And your highness, you know I will always do that. You trust me. All right, uh, President Nandozi. No, don't go. Just me. How was your stay at um, Iwaha community? Oh, the people are so nice. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Accommodating and so friendly. The only problem is that um, they are not exposed to basic amenities. That will make them live a memorable life. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. How then do people survive there? Oh, they survive by the agricultural produce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't stay there. Why? Why? <laughs> you have to. You have to. <laughs> you have to. See, see, see. When it is your time to serve, whatever they post you, you whether developed or undeveloped, you have to go there. But yeah, that is what they call the national call. Yes. I know it's a national call, but can't I choose where to serve? <laughs> <laughs> can't I choose that where to serve? Ah, uh, uh, that's what you know what happened there. Eh? The very day I arrived there, Mom. Ah! Uh, ah! What is it? What is it? Ah! What is it? Ah! What is it? Ah! What is it? What is this? 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 Doctor, how is he? Um, he is stable right now. But I want him to be brought to the hospital so that we can run a proper test on him. Yes, we will do that. You said he started reacting to the pain after he must have finished eating, right? Yes, doctor. Exactly. Uh, if I may ask your highness, who prepared the meal? I did. That was his favorite meal that I prepared for him. Uh, in that case, Your Highness, I still want him to be brought to the hospital so that we can run a proper test on him to know what the problem is. So as soon as he wakes up, please bring him to the hospital. Okay. That's all right. That. That's all right. We, we will do as you said. Um, Your Highness, uh, I bet to take my leave. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. Have a nice day. Agatha was up to something the moment she wasted so much time in that kitchen. What are you talking about? The sorry illness of Prince Nadozi. Yes! He fell ill the moment he ate the food Agatha served him. Do you think that food has something to do with Prince Nadozi's illness? Yes. I think Agatha added something to his name. Iroka, mind what you say. Oh. Before this, your mouth will put you in a very big problem. But you know, I am making so much sense in what I just told you. You are talking nothing but trash. 
Did you see her add something to the food? Not really. So what nonsense are you talking about? I just I just felt like she added something to his meal, that's all. I'm a boy. I'm not an ego. What is going on here? And why are the both of you standing here when there's a lot of job to be done in the palace? By the way, what are you people discussing? Nothing. You said nothing. And you are standing there. to call to tell me that he's gotten home. God, what's going on? I hope all is well with him. God, please protect him wherever he is. Greetings to you as the one. Eye of the gods. The respected servant of the great goddess. Name me. I greet you specially. I greet you in return, oh no. Noble man of the land. To what do I all this visit? Is the wine. No, no, they are not here, Ben and Kitty. The midnight bed does not waste all in vain. Oh no! Huh? Oh no! Everyone in this kingdom knows that men who run the affairs of this land are wise. Go straight to why you are here. I know you did not come here to show me how wonderful you are with Proverbs. Oh, well, well, no, 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 not really. Um, I'm sorry about it. Prince Nadozi, the heir apparent to the throne of Rubuama in Yugugu Kingdom, we returned a few days ago from a youth service program, and something strange happened on his return. He's the one as we speak now. Prisina Nadozi is lying critically in the hospital. And the king has asked me to come and find out from the gods what could be the cause of the problem. That is why I'm here. Go and tell the king that what will be, will be. Uh, uh, are, you, are you saying he will be well again? You cannot speak when the gods have not spoken. The ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. Go and tell the king as I have said. Oh no. Go! What is it? It's not that was he. Ever since he left for his place, he has refused to call me. His phone has been switched off. So is that why you're crying? He promised to call me. They all promise the same thing. Even marriage. Just open your eyes and see that you have been dumped. I warned you about that guy. I told you that coppers are not to be trusted because each time they are posted to this community for their primary assignment, they end up 
using our girls and dumping them once they pass out. Dozier is different. He's not like that. So what makes him different? He promised to call me. He will not understand. They all promise the same thing. Even marriage, but all are lies and deceits. Just open your eyes and face reality. I cannot forget about him. Why? I see. You are in love. It is complicated. It is very simple. Uncomplicate it. Close this chapter. Open another one with someone in this community and move on with your life. It is, it is very simple. Chama, you will not understand. I do. You don't. Remember, I've been a victim of the same circumstance. This one is different. Ms. <gasps> Betty, is there something you're not telling me? Yes, How is the prince doing today? He is not getting any better. And I am afraid. I don't know what is becoming of all of this. <sighs> Gods of my fathers, please let nothing happen to my son. Please. Your Highness, yes. I suggest we fly him abroad before this thing turns into something bigger than what you think. Mm. I think you have a point there. You have a point. Thank we you. will. Delay can be dangerous. Delay can be dangerous. You won't believe that Ono Wu and uh, SAG are sent to Ezewan came back without anything tangible. Are you serious? Mm. It is more serious than we think. This is serious. By the way, where is Prince Sabina? My king, he went to his school to defend his projects. But he said that he will branch off to the, to the hospital to see his brother, Prince Nandese. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Cheer up. Cheer up, Ukwese. I'm afraid. Cheer up. I am very optimistic that my prince will pull through. That reminds me, my prince. What is the current condition of your elder brother, Prince Nadozi? Prince Nadozi is not getting any better. Thing. This is really serious. Does that mean nothing could be done to get him back to his feet? We are trying our best. Though my father is planning on sending him abroad as soon as possible. I think your father has a point. Since nothing could be done to get him back to his feet here in the country. Yes, so. I will be going to Iwoha community for your friend's traditional marriage. Will you come with me? Yeah. You, you, you told me. But I'm really sorry, my prince. That very day I'll be having something very important to do. That means I will drive alone. But what about your girl, Sharon? Sharon is not available. I really, I really wish there is something I could have done, my prince. Your Highness. Yes. We have come to inquire about the head condition of our hair apparently true. Miss Naduzi. 
Thank you very much, my cheers. Thank you for your concern. Yeah, but we all know that uh, the prince was flown abroad for treatment. But I spoke with the doctor in charge this morning, and he told me that the prince has started responding to treatment. Oh, may the gods be praised. Uh, oh, yes, you know, we, we are so worried about Prince Nandosia's health and the fate of this kingdom, considering the, the, the messages that have been coming from him. It's, it's, a, it's, it's quite disheartening. You see, my chiefs, I must confess to you that I'm glad to have people like you in my cabinet. You have always stood by me, whether in good times or bad times. And I say, may the gods of our land continue to provide for you, people. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. We want to assure you that we will always stand by your side. Eh? No matter what, we will never let you down. At all times. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Onyeze, you, you know that Maz Uzo's son, the one that stays abroad. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Uh, he, he sent a message to his father mm -hmm. that he has the plans of building a very big company in our kingdom here. Mm -hmm. But that he, the problem he's having is the land where to situate. Uh, oh, oh, yes, sir. In fact, oh, no, who is very, very correct. Uh, in, my, in my own opinion, I think we should start considering giving him part of the land uh, by the water side. Mm -hmm. You know, the, that land is a very yeah, big. Yes. Uh, if we add the other one, also. No, you can take all It's to okay, the it's all right. I have heard you. Okay. I have heard you. I will look into it. Huh? I will. <laughs> I told you. Hello. Anybody home? Hello? I told you I wanted us to talk after the wedding ceremony. But you left without my consent. I'm sorry, Prince Obina. Why did you leave? Are you avoiding me? No, it's just that I have to come home to do some things for my father before he returns. Listen, Uzume. I like you. I am looking for something in a woman. And trust me, you have what I'm looking for. So please. Give me the opportunity to prove how much I care. I can't. Why? I just can't. Do you have a boyfriend? No. So, what's the problem? Why? Don't you like me? No. I do. It's just I can't date anybody for now. <sighs> Why? Why can't you date anybody for now? You will not understand. This will make me understand. Oh, yes. Prince Obina, please. I cannot date you. I just can't date you. Okay. It's all good. Let me not push further. Well, I'm lost that um, ZM suit in 205. In case you change your mind and want to come around, I will really appreciate that, okay?
No! No! Sacrilege! Sacrilege! Evil! Danger is at the corner! Sacrilege! Only the gods can save us! Only the gods can save us! Listen, man. Your words are very strong and confusing. I am seriously scared. Please, I beg of you, to speak to me in the language that I will understand. Uh, 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 is there no hope left for me? The future, the future is bright. There is hope. There is hope. Yes. Is it why? A while ago, you said things that are capable of making the heart of the strongest man of this kingdom beat faster than it's supposed out of fear. Why do you almost speak from both sides of your mouth? Watch what you say, Kandaribe! I do not speak when the gods have not asked me to speak. I only say what I say. Hmm. Please, uh, forgive me. Uh, I'm very sorry to have spoken in such manner. But, but please tell me, uh, are we going to face trouble anytime soon? Or is the trouble already here with us in this kingdom? I want to know. Alaribe! Do not seek that which is greater than you. For we are mere pencils in the hands of the gods. Please, my. But you're supposed to. Eh? Alaribe! Go home! For your wife will be free from that sickness. Speak. No further, and ask no further questions, for what you seek is greater than you. Mm. Go home, for that which you seek is greater than you. Go home, Alaribe, go home. Mm. What a lucky cash. You need to set to me. Choma, what are you talking about? Oh, please, stop the pretense. That young man that just drove out of your compound, he's a big cash, a prince, and he smells money too. I am looking forward to seeing you happy again. He's asking me out, but I refuse. Eh? Let me pretend I didn't hear that. Chum, I'm very serious. Miss Betty, what is wrong with you? Do you like poverty? God has finally sent someone to take you and your family out of this suffering, but you don't want it to happen. I don't want to believe you're about to make the biggest mistake of your life. Choma, you will not understand. I am in a big mess right now. My whole world is messed up. And I do not know whom to run to. I don't know why all this are happening. I don't know. Miss Rachel, talk to me. What is going on? I am your friend. Open up to me. Promise me you will not say it to anyone. Not even my father. I promise you. I will not stab you in the back. I'm pregnant. You're what? So, who is responsible? Not Uzi. Did you tell him before he left? Yes, I did. And he promised to marry me. And now he has left me to face this shame and humiliation all by myself. Nzubechi, you need to cover up this mess before any other person finds out. How? When next are you seeing Prince Obina? He asked me to see him at his guest house where he's lodged. 
this evening. But I declined. Uzibeti, listen to me. You're going to see him. And make sure he sleeps with you. Yes. Make sure he sleeps with you so that he will accept this pregnancy. No! Chuma, I can't. I won't. Uzibeti. Do I need to remind you of what you're going to be facing if our people find out that you're pregnant out of wedlock? Do I? <laughs> Finally, I have found this precious pot of mine which I've been looking for. Oh, gods of my fatherland. I thank you very much for making it possible for me to see this pot. What would I have done without this pot? Now I can go home. I can go home with this pot and begin to enjoy myself. Ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, 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 God's forbid. It is not possible. Your Majesty. Yes. Why are you looking this terrified? Just had a very bad dream. In fact, the same dream. All these few days. The same dream. The same dream about the golden pots? Exactly. Exactly. The way I have been saying it. What is happening? What is going on? Don't you think I'm the last person who should ask that question? Speak, my king! For my ears are wide open to hear you. As a man, I have been having this particular dream for the past few days now. What is the dream all about, my king? I, I found this golden pot filled with a lot of diamonds and gold. Then I picked the golden pot. But suddenly, the pot fell out of my hands and uh, broke. Then, suddenly, the, the, the gold and diamond in the pot all turned into a big python and started chasing after me. This is not a good dream, my king. Not at all. That is why I'm here as a man. I need your help. I need you to explain to me the meaning of this dream and what it is all about. Hmm. Come with me, my king. Come with me. Oh. Nemo, Nemo, Nedema, Nema, 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 Nema,
Okwazi ziri muka mune nyo Okwani hisi mwemu kuo kamuni kuo Ne kuna muna nuo Ne kuna muna nuo I did not say anything, my king. But I want you to know that this is a very bad dream. My love, you sounded urgent when you called me on the phone. I hope all is well. All is well, my prince. But first, what can I offer you? Let me get you something. Don't worry about that. Tell me why you called. Um, I... I really don't know how to say this. I... I think I'm pregnant. No, I am pregnant. Uzube. My prince. Nzube. My prince. Nzube, this joke is expensive. Be serious. My prince, I am serious. I ran a pregnancy test and it confirmed that I am pregnant. Yes, my prince. This is good news. I'm so glad to hear this. Yeah. This is good news. I'm excited about it. You're pregnant. For real? Yes. You mean you are not angry? Angry about what? Listen, I will tell my parents immediately so we can do the needful. Are you for real? Are you serious? Nzube, I swear by the gods of our land, I must marry you. <gasps> You haven't said anything since I got here. Uh, why did you come out to this place? David, I've always known you to be a straightforward person. Are you still that David I've always known? Sharon, uh, I don't understand. Will you tell me if I ask you, or are you going to lie to me? Sharon, you're getting me more confused. What question? Where is your friend as we speak? You mean Prince Obina? I do not know with any other person. Where is he? Probably you should just call him on the phone and try to find out yourself. If he was speaking my call, I would ask you. Are you guys having any issues? None that I know of. But I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Come on. That he's seeing another but girl? That's what he's making it look like. Nah. Sharon, let's not think about it that way. It should better not be. I pray I don't catch him with any other girl. Abina. Why did you select me, Tim? What is the problem? Father, I'm sorry. I know you people will be wondering why I called this emergency meeting. Well, it's because of the girl I met at Iwoha when I went for a friend's traditional marriage. So, what about the girl? Um, this might sound strange, but I love her and I want to marry her. My prince, you met a girl and suddenly you want to marry her. Are you alright? Um, this might break your heart, mom, but 
she's pregnant as we speak. And in her place, it's a taboo for a young girl to get pregnant outside marriage. So I want to marry her. You, my son, a prince, want to marry a girl you suddenly met out of pity and not for love? I am totally disappointed at you. It's okay. It's okay, because it's alright. Um, Obina, yes, this very girl, who is her father? What is her name? Her name is Uzube Chuku. Her father is a nobody. Anyway, I've said it several times. That none of my grandchild will be raised outside this palace. No. So whatever support you need from us, whatever thing you need from us, we will give it to you. You will marry that girl. You just made my night. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. Uh, let's, let's go inside. Um, this might break your heart, mom, but she's pregnant as we speak. And in her place, it's a taboo for a young girl to get pregnant outside marriage. So I want to marry her. What exactly is going on here? Could this really be true? Or is there something I am missing in all of this? Hey, what will I do right now? My husband, the king, has already given him the go ahead. Oh, because of our land. Please take control. Please. My dear, what will I offer you? I did not come here to drink your food. You're sounding too serious. What's the problem? I should be asking you that question. Why have you not been taking my calls? And why have I not seen you for some time now? I'm a busy man. I've been busy. Traveling, business meetings. You know my elder brother is not around, so I'm, I've been busy. And you didn't see it right to let me in the know? Sorry about that. It's okay. Okay, it's last Friday of the month. And um, we normally travel out to have some time together. What's up? It wouldn't be possible this time around because I have business meeting to attend. What is wrong with you? So if I did not bring this up, you would have told me. I was going to tell you. When? When were you going to tell me? Sharon, you're shouting. Greetings to you as the one. Eye of the gods. The respected servant of our great memory. I greet you. May the gods guide and protect you. May the gods keep you alive forever that you will live and serve us better. He said... Oh no! I greet you too. I can see you are happy and in a good mood. May the gods be praised. The gods deserve to be praised indeed for the wonderful things they have been doing for us. One of them is the reason I'm here today. I am all ears, oh no. My ears are wide open to hear the good news. 
Prince Obinla decided to take a wife. And the king asked me to come to you so that you consult the gods and find out the stand of the gods before the formal marital rights will commence. The king is indeed a great supporter of tradition. I am happy that a young prince wants to take a bride. Go and tell the king that I will do the needful. Mm. <laughs> All right. When are we expecting to hear from you? I will send message to the palace as soon as possible. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. I have to be on my way to the palace now. May the gods lead you, Ono. Thank you. Go so well. Much. Thank you so much. May the gods lead you. Go well, Ono. Go well. Who are you? My name is Obinna. Obinna Obanna. The Prince of Enyo Kingdom. Prince Obinna, how may I help you? I am here to indicate my interest on in your daughter, Nzube. We are seriously in love and I want to marry her. <laughs> that is very interesting. But Prince Obinna, if I may ask, are you sure you really want to marry my daughter? I would move all the way from my kingdom to this place if I'm not serious. That's alright. I've heard what you said. And I will discuss with my daughter, then I'll get back to you. Thanks for your time. Is everything all right? Well, I am no longer comfortable with what is going on. What is going on? It's all about Obina. And, and, and what is it that you are not comfortable with? About Obina's marriage proposal. Lolo! Your Majesty, he is a second son. And I wouldn't want him to get married before his elder brother, Naduze. And besides, he is still very young. Listen, nothing stops him from getting married before his elder brother. At least our tradition doesn't forbid that. And don't forget that the lady in question is carrying his baby. Yes, I know he said all that. But still, I don't want Naduze to start feeling somehow when he comes back and find out about it. If that is your worry, leave it to me. I will take care of it. Your Majesty, if you said so, but still, I am not comfortable with the whole thing. I am not. Listen, Lolo, if I were you, I would be happy. You should be happy that your son impregnated a lady and is willing to marry her. How many young men will do that? How many of them will accept such a responsibility? You see, please, 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 don't notice your fears. Take them off. Take them off and give him the cooperation that he needs. Very simple. Hey! My prince. Hmm. My prince, my prince. Hmm. <laughs> I haven't seen you this happy these days. What's the secret? Swear by the gods that you won't betray me. 
Swear that you won't tell Sharon anything about it. Come on, my prince. Do I really need to do all this? Oh yes, you have to. Is that serious? I swear by the gods, I am not going to betray my prince. And I'm not going to tell Sharon. Good. I have found her. Found her? Who? My better half. The woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Wait. Is the prince by this statement trying to tell me that that Sharon of a girl is no longer in the picture? Sharon is not in the camera. Talk more of being in the picture. I found my love. I'm just coming from that place. I made my intentions known to her parents. And trust me, nothing can stop us. This is really unbelievable. Don't you think it calls for a celebration? Ah, of course. I'm in a celebrating mood already. Wow. <laughs> Why not? Let's go and get a glass of wine. Hello, you called me. Yes, my daughter, sit down. <clears throat> There is this young man that came in here earlier today. Do you know him very well? Yes, Father. I know him. He's Prince Obina from Obama in your kingdom. He said that to me. Uh, do you know him very well that you want to marry him? Yes, Father. I know him very well. Hmm. I hope you are not saying yes because he's a prince and he comes from a wealthy family. Listen, my daughter, take this as a word of advice. Marriage is not something you dumble into because of material things. Father, don't you know your daughter again? I am not after material things. Actually, I love him and that's why I accepted him. Mm. Yes, Father. <laughs> Nelly? No, no, tell me. If I want to drive life away from shit, will I eat the shit? Banana. No. <laughs> no so banana. now, are you now telling me to send words to them to commence the marital rights immediately? Yes, Father, please do. Mm. There's no time. We'll get the wrong. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> it is said that he who finds a wife finds find a, a good, good thing. thing. <laughs> that's all right. You can now go back to your room. Okay. Hmm? Thank you, Father. Thank you. Mm. Okay, I'll be in my room. So it's true. What's true? You claim to be very busy. Reasons you do not have time for us. Of course I have been very busy lately. Liar! You are a bloody liar! You were seeing another girl. Deny it! Deny you were not seeing another girl! Deny you have not been lying to me all this while! Deny it! Listen, I'm sorry, okay? And I promise to love you. I promise that we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together. I promised you all that, but I'm sorry. Things changed. Yes. I, I don't understand that. The point is I'm getting married soon. And you're not in the picture. No, my prince. You're joking, right? You, 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 you can't do that to me. You, you promised to love me forever. You promised you would spend the rest of your life with me. What, what are you trying to do? I promised all that, but I lost the feelings. As in, I don't know. I don't know how to pretend. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was waiting for the right time to tell you, but since you, you've come to realize that I'm no longer interested in your own way, better. Why are you doing this? Why are you treating me like this? Why? 
I don't know what to say. I said, I'm sorry. I'm no longer feeling you. And you know me. I don't know how to pretend. The chemistry is dead. The connection is nowhere to be found. I'm no longer feeling you, so I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you're no longer feeling me. Uh -huh. You were no longer feeling me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I will not let it happen. I will not. She has to come through me before she can assess you. She has to come through you before she can assess me. Meaning, as my mother or what? I don't get it. That wedding will not hold. My good uh, brother. Greetings. Greetings uh, to you. Okay. How are you doing? I am fine. Uh, where are you heading to? Hmm. I am going to raise a wise place concerning my wife's health. I see. Your wife's health. Uh, how is your wife? Hmm? Well, she's getting better by the day. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know that my wife would have died in that hospital if she had stayed there a little while? So, hmm. But I told you. I told you from the onset, Alaribe, that your wife's case is not a thing of hospital. It is rather spiritual. You, you said so. I thank the gods that, that I took her to the Eisen Wines place. Uh, it's like you are coming from somewhere. Huh? I'm actually coming from Eisen Wines place. Uh -huh. Yes. The king sent me to go and get some information from the gods concerning the prince's proposed marriage. Uh -huh. Yes. What did she say? She said the gods are silent about it. Mm. The gods are not saying anything concerning the marriage. But she said we can go ahead with the marriage, right? Eh? Hey, well, no. This is strange. It is strange indeed. Very, very strange. But like she said, we have to go ahead with the marriage, right? Mm. Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm going to the king to deliver the message from the gods. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, my regards to the king. He will hear you. I'm looking ever. Okay. Okay. David. Yes, your majesty. You're my son's best friend, right? Yes, your majesty. Hmm. Is it possible for you not to know certain things about him? Honestly, Your Majesty, I'm really confused about this question. I hope everything is fine. Prince Obina, my son, met a certain young girl and suddenly decided to marry her. And I am not 100% comfortable with the whole thing. David, I want you to tell me the whole truth about this whole marriage issue. Honestly, Your Majesty, I, I really don't have much to say about this issue because I don't know much about it. I tried asking the prince why he, he wants to marry another lady instead of Sharon. But, but he only told me that Sharon is no longer in the picture. Are you trying to tell me that he did not have any kind of misunderstanding with Sharon before he suddenly decided to marry this girl? Never, Your Majesty. They never had any quarrels. And I even wonder how uh, Sharon is going to take this whole issue. What is wrong with my son? Mm. My son. Uh, oh. I'm very happy. Very happy to see you return back to us in the <laughs> Your Majesty, I am the happiest person on earth today. Mm. My son, I prayed and I cried unto the gods to spare your life for me. Yeah. And I'm happy they did. Oh, Mom, thank you very much. Indeed, 
the God had a prayer. They did, I'm sure. And I'm a yes, It wasn't easy. But thank the gods, I made it. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So excited to see you again. <laughs> My brother, we all missed you. <laughs> and we all prayed for the gods to bring you back home safe and sound. Yes. And here you are. Mm. It simply means the gods are with us. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm a Malaysian way, Zadata Namba. The king's son does not get lost in a foreign land. Never. I thank the girls for bringing you back and on time too. Mm. You know, your younger brother's wife's official introduction to the throne is tomorrow. Yes. I have a lot of people. Ah! 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 <laughs> that is a wonderful news. Mm, yes. Wonderful news. Yes. And thank the gods I am here to witness it. I'm glad you are back because I can't imagine my introduction without my other brother. <laughs> um, mom. Yeah. Dad? Uh, excuse me, I need to take this call. A call? Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. No problem, my son. No problem. Hello? Uh, no, no. Um, yes, yes. Uh, I didn't just leave. The food will be served soon. Mm -hmm. oh, but, but this calls for celebration now. Of course! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What are you doing here? Are you not supposed to be with your friend and his wife on a day like this that she's been presented to the throne? Sharon, let's just say I've come to see you. Why? How do you even get to know I was here? Come on, Sharon. <laughs> I've known you too well to know that this place is your favorite spot. <laughs> Come on. How are you? Did he put you up to this? What? Did Prince Obina put you up to spy on me and give him feedback? <laughs> Sharon, you're getting me confused. This is ridiculous. What is more ridiculous? If you sit before me, get out! Wait. Sharon. I, I I know you don't mean that. David, get out of something very stupid! Get out! Okay, it's fine. No problems. I'll leave. But Sharon, take it easy with the alcohol. Come on, you're better than this. You can do more better. Sharon, you're very beautiful. Your Highness, may you live long. Yes, sir. Her Majesty, oh, no. may you live long as well. Yes, sir. My people, today is a special day in the history of our land. And this moment is this most sacred moment, the long awaited hour. The official presentation of Prince Obina's wife to the royal home. My king, yes. permit me to call upon Prince Obina to step forward with his wife so that the ritual 
we commence officially. You can come. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Father. Yes, my prince. Go ahead. Go ahead and unveil her for the king to see and perform the needed ritual. My people, with joy, I present the love of my life, Uzubechi. Zubechi. What? What? Zube, my love. Yeah? This is not happening. What? Zube is mine. She belongs to me. I, my prince, how, how do you mean? We've known each other for a very long time. As a matter of fact, I have plans of making her my wife. Stop this drama! Stop this drama, Nadozie! Don't embarrass your brother, please. Not not today, please. Dad, this is not a drama. I am saying the truth. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. what do you have to say? Wonders shall never end. How can Prince Inadoze, who just returned from his medical treatment, claim to be in a relationship with the bride of Prince Obina? I am trying to understand how possible it is. Why are you two talking like this? Prince Inadoze was born and brought up in this kingdom. It is very possible he's saying the truth. I don't think so. Prince Obina is right. Something is wrong with Prince Inadusi. Uchechi. <laughs> Mind your mouth. Oh. But she might not be far from the truth. Prince Inadusi actually acted strange. But that doesn't mean she should be the one to say it. Don't you all know we are all going to be in trouble if they get to find out? I just pity poor Sharon. What will be her fate? What do you mean? The prince dumps her for a village girl. Oh, Chechi. This is your mouth will definitely put into trouble. But it's no longer a news that she's a village girl. Mm -hmm. She is a lucky village girl. The two princes are fighting over her. I wish I'm in her shoes. It is now clear that you need to visit the Asian Wine Shrine so she can wipe off your imaginations. Lucky girl, my friend. You, this girl, one day I will deal with you. Only lady. Mm -hmm. Oh no. You have not said anything since we left the palace. Njoko, what do you want him to say? Eh? He is supposed to say something about the drama that played out at the palace. Has it ever been heard? No, no, I am asking you. Tell me, has it ever been heard anywhere? You can you imagine the two sons of our king disgracing themselves, embarrassing themselves? The royal family and no. the entire community. <sighs> Prince Nadoze and Obina fighting over a village girl. <sighs> Does it mean we no longer have 
beautiful girls in this kingdom, at least they can choose from? Njoku, that is not my problem. Personally, I have no problem with whatever they decide to marry from. No. After all, the law of the land does not say that everyone must marry from his land. No. The problem is this. The amount of disgrace, embarrassment they displayed during that ugly drama. The shame we got from them today. That is my problem. Oh no. Njoku, are we very sure that Prince Nadezi is still very much in order? What did you mean by that? How can he claim that his young brother's wife belongs to him? That is even the most worrisome part of that drama. That is where the problem lies. I think there is more to this whole thing. I agree with you, Njoku. Yes. There is more to it. But uh, my prayer is that the whole problem becomes solved as soon as possible. Because I, 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 I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Hello. Obina. Hello. I must say that I am disappointed at the show of shame you people displayed out there earlier today. You people proved to everyone out there that, 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 that you, you, you are not qualified to be prince of this kingdom, let alone taking over from me when I'm gone. So I called both of you here now so that I catch exactly what went wrong. So that we trash that issue here now. Father. Yeah. I'm sorry about what happened. But Nadozie here is just being childish. Uzubechi is mine. She's even carrying my baby. So what is he saying? What? What child are you talking about? Now, does it, does it mean that you didn't hear him or what? The young girl is already carrying your brother's child. So please, I beg you to stop. Stop the fight. Mother, the child in question is mine. Unzibe was already pregnant from before I left you or her community. What? <laughs> Did I hear you well? Yes, father. You heard me well. It's obvious the doctor that treated Nadozi abroad made a mistake. And that mistake is affecting his sense of reasoning. He has gone bananas. Because no man in his right senses will be dragging another man's child. What are you saying? What are you trying to do? Nadozi, you are mad. You are mad. Now you're very stupid. Now you are mad. Be very don't dare you get close to my woman, else I will put you where you belong. You are just a fucking dog and trust Keep me. Keep quiet. Don't lay your hands on my wife, else I will deal with you. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. I will tell you. I will put you in your cage, I said quiet, both of you. What is wrong with these boys, people? What is wrong with both of you? Have you, have you, have you, have you, have you both gone crazy? Eh? Why are both of you fighting like mad dog over a little bone? Why? Why are you bent on dragging the name of this royal family in the mud? If you cannot handle this little matter, then how would you be able to handle the affairs of this community after me? Get out of my side, both of you. Get out. I said, get out! I said, get out! You, get out! Why is it? I will deal with you. Now, Lolo, your I will get into this issue later, but warn your sons. Tell them. Yes, Your Majesty. Tell them. I will do that. Jai. I am finished. I am finished, Joe. 
Mama. It's okay, it's a break. Take it easy. Hey! It's a break, it's okay. It's okay. Remember you're pregnant. Exactly yeah. my point. Exactly my point. Why is it not better my life come to an end? It's okay. It's okay. Stop sounding this way, okay? Everything will be fine. Chama, you needed to be there. You needed to see what happened. I didn't know he's a prince. I just want to go. I just want to go right now. I want to go. I want to go. I just want to go. It's okay. You know you can't go home in this condition. Eh? Think. What do you think people will do if they find out that you're pregnant? Listen to me. I am here for you. Oh? Just calm down. Let's think of the out of this situation. How? How, Shuma? How? These two men are brothers. How on earth can I undo this? How? My lies has finally caught up with me. Hey! Do you trust me? Hey! Stop sounding this way. Oh, just stop crying. Let me concentrate and know the best way out of this. Did you just say best way out of this? Yes, you heard me right. The only situation on earth that has no solution is death. As for this particular situation, you're coming out of it. This is as good as death. Is it not? Is it not better I die than to find myself in this situation? Uzubech, you're not going to die. <sighs> Nothing is going to happen to you. Okay? Listen to me. Just stop crying. Stop crying. Let me think of the best way out of this. And don't say a word to anyone else. And don't mention a word to anyone. Here's the one, the most powerful and peaceful woman of our time. I greet you. I greet you in return, king of our land. You are welcome to my abbot. The great servant of Nimiri. Hmm. I can see. I can see your heart is heavy. And you have so many questions to ask. You are very correct, Mr. Wine. Very correct. And I need answers to those my questions. Good answers. Take it easy, Your Highness. Take it easy, you said. Mr. Wine, so many things are seriously getting wrong in my palace. I can't just sit and fold my hands and watch them go down completely. I need you to act fast. My king! The earlier men understand that the ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. The better for them. As a I do understand. But I need you to tell me the truth. This girl in question and the boy, who do they belong to? Tell me. Hold your peace, Your Highness. Go home. I will consult the gods and get back to you. Go home. <laughs> Go home, my king. Go home. Is your love to cruise of a new? Is your love of a rowery? It's okay. In fact, I want to apologize on behalf of my brother. 
I'm sorry, in fact, I'm sorry. He was sick, he just got back from states where he went to receive treatment. He was sick? Yes. What's the sickness all about? Let's not discuss him. I want you to put yourself together. And trust me, we will pull through this. Okay? I'm sorry, my prince. Um, I didn't mean to disturb your discussion with your wife. Come. Make sure you take good care of her, okay? I will, my prince. I'll see you later. Thanks. Thank you, my prince. What happened? I mean, what did he say? He just came to apologize. And he said the marriage will still hold. Wow, that's good news. Chema, God knows I cannot stand this. I can't stand this. Who's Rachel? Look at me. This is not the time to be chicken hearted. This is the time to be very strong and smart. I know you can pull through this. We will pull through this. Listen, this is your home and Prince Obina is your husband. And my child? It belongs to Prince Obina. How did you go your majesty? What? You're meeting with Ezawan. Or oh, have you forgotten you told me you were going to meet with her concerning the issue at hand? That Mademoiselle did not yield anything serious. What do you mean? The meeting did not yield anything serious. How on earth will you go to meet with Ezawan and you come back with what you just said? Well, Ezawan said we should all hold our peace. That she will consult the gods. Then we get back to us. How can she say that we, sh we should hold our peace? Why she consult the courts again and get back to us? What are we going to do about this? I don't know. I seriously do not know. Your Majesty, you see, I never wanted a marriage. I never supported it. But you said our son should go ahead and marry her. Now look, the marriage is supported where it has landed all of us. Where's the what are you trying to say? Are you insinuating that I should be blamed for everything that is happening? Is that what you're saying? Your Majesty, if you did not tell him to go ahead and marry her, all this that is happening wouldn't have been happening. I say, even when the girl in question is carrying our grandchild, for our son? Did we confirm the pregnancy? Is she the only one that has gotten pregnant as of wedlock? Your Majesty, she has to leave this palace. Says who? Says I, the Queen of Obama in your kingdom. <laughs> I do not want to believe that the Queen of Obama in your kingdom does not know what our tradition says regarding issues like this. We really wanna know who is fooling who. We really want who's behind the scenes. So complicated, so irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look, the less you see. It's so complicated. So So this is where you are. Drinking a glass of juice that you didn't know how it came about. Greetings, Your Highness. You know something? I never wanted my son to marry someone like you. But when he told us that you were already pregnant with his child, I had no choice but to accept you. But this minute, I am regretting ever making that decision. You know 
something. You have a very bad spirit. And I will not hesitate to throw you out of this palace if you don't tell me the truth. What did you do to my sons? What did you do to them that they are fighting over you? Speak, you low life. What is that being a drama queen and telling me the truth? Mom, mom. Mom, take it easy on her. Oh, come off it. I need to know what is going on between you and your brother before you kill yourselves. You low life. Tell me what is going on? Mom. Mom, you're scaring her the more. Remember, she's pregnant. Will you stop this nonsense? And don't talk to me about pregnancy. Because you don't know about it. What did I do? So stay away. And you idiot. You low life, stupid idiot. Get out of my presence. Get out of my presence before I. Actually, I was on my way to your house. Yeah. I hope all is well. It is about the king and his two sons. What about them? Have they finally killed themselves? Or have they set the whole palace ablaze because of that guy? Eh? They have not done any of those two things you mentioned. But I am sure if care is not taken, they will still do them. How do you mean? Don't tell me you are not aware of what my eyes have seen these past two days. Njoko, tell me, what exactly are we to do? Eh? I think we should go meet the king and tell him to take the matter to easy one. I believe she might be of help in this situation. Our king, I know, would have done this since the dawn of today. Njoko, let us allow the king to handle this all by himself, at least for now. But if things doesn't change, then we will step in fully. That is my advice. Well, if you say so, it's just that I don't want us to lose our king on account of this madness. Our king is a good man and we cannot afford to lose him right now. Job, you have a point. Good. Um, nothing will happen to our king. Nothing? Hmm? Nothing. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, uh, who could ever think that your own biological brother, uh, Prince Subina, could be claiming a pregnancy that was never his? Come on! Initially, he claimed that to be his woman. But right now, he wants my own body. David, is this not madness? Uh, madness? Madness, you say, my prince? I mean, this is the height of madness one can ever think of. Come on, who does that? I am out for him. Whatever he wants, I am ready. If he wants peace, I will give him peace. But if he wants war, I am equal to the task. Who does he think he is? Uh, then I think, uh, my, my prince, I have to advise you be very careful this this time around because you know with the height of cheap jealousy and and desperation it can possibly push someone into into using charms or or probably committing murder you know David my good friend I am not afraid of anybody Prince Natuzi is no threat to me he can do anything don't worry I am way smarter. Okay, then, uh, you know, in this game, only the strongest, the wisest, and, and, and the smartest wins. So you, you just have to uh, put that together. I am more than able to attack. Don't worry yourself about me. 
Everything will be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, probably, yeah. Later in the day, we will just see later in the day. And uh, take care of yourself. Just make sure you take care of yourself. Sharon, what's going on? Why are you in tears? Monica, I am going through a lot and I just want to end it. What could that be? It's Prince Sabina. It's with another girl. I see. I see what this is all about. You mean you're actually shedding tears for a man? Come off it, girl. You're better than this. I mean, you're stronger than this. No, no, no. I am not strong. I love him with all my heart. I gave him everything, my own. Why is he treating me like this? Why? Why am I so fortunate? Why? Oh, God forbid. Shush shit. Listen, my dear friend, you are not unfortunate. Look at yourself. You're beautiful. Special gift from God. Listen, let me tell you something. No man worth these tears. Stop it. I can't get this off my head. I love him so much. I can't. I can't. You know, all this would have been avoided if you had listened to me from onset. I never liked that guy, despite the fact that he is a prince. To be honest with you, I know going into a relationship with Prince Obina will amount to nothing but disaster. All the same, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Stop doing this to yourself. Believe me, you will meet a man that will honor and love you. Love Trust him. me. I love him. Just it's okay, stop crying. It's okay, stop. Look what you're doing to yourself. Uh, you are welcome, my son. Thank you. But I don't expect to see you alone without my daughter. Where is she? Oh, she's at the palace. Yes, she's safe. What do you mean by that word that she is safe? She, she's supposed to be safe with you, I know. Yes, that's why I'm here. As tradition demands, my parents asked her to stay back. Is that so? Yes. But that sounds so strange to me. That's why I came to explain. Yes. My parents say she has to spend more time at the palace now. As tradition demands. But if everything is fine as you claim, she's supposed to be here with you. That is why I'm so... <laughs> we are saying something, my in-law. The truth is, as tradition demands, I'm even surprised when my parents said that. But she has to spend more time in the palace. Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> I have no reason to doubt you. But I hope to see both of you when next you are coming. Of course, of course. <laughs> thank you very much, my Oh, name. thank you, man. Your Highness. Hello. As none of you who are here, we have come to remind you of the meeting between our kingdom and the Moise kingdom. The meeting concerning the land dispute on ground. Hi. Thank you very much, my chiefs. Thank you for coming. You know, that is why Njuri said that movements are always better in twos and threes. So that when one forgets, the other one reminds. Other one reminds. Yes. You don't know that, in fact, I have forgotten everything about it. Ah. Honestly, I have a lot on my head. Where is it? We know of it. 
And that is why we thought it is wise for us to come and remind you of it. That's why we are here. You see, no, when is the meeting going to be held? The meeting is coming up in three days' time. Okay. And I'm aware that you are conscious of the fact that we must be present in that meeting. Oh, no. I know the importance of that meeting because that land belongs to us. Of course. And we can't afford to lose it to major people. It's not possible at all. Your Majesty, I am very happy to hear this from you. Mm. We have to do all that we can to make sure they don't take that land from us. Our ancestors will not be happy if we ever lose that land to Umozi people. And it is not possible to lose that land. You see, I am going to do everything within my powers to be in that meeting. And I urge all of you to ensure that you are there too. Of course. Oui. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> the only one that is true. The only one that is true. The only one You're not scared of me or what? Of course, you know I can't do anything in this life to hurt you. I am here to get answers straight from you. Tell me, why are you hurting me? My love, why are you doing this to us? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Am I crazy or something? My love, look straight into my eyes and tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, go ahead and do it. Look in my eyes and tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. Why are you doing this to us? Why are you causing me this pain? Why are you breaking my heart? Have you forgotten so soon? Have you forgotten how we started? The love we shared? The promises we made to each other? My love. I gave you my heart. I gave you my soul. I gave you my body. I gave you everything for you to be happy. Why are you turning your back on me? Why? Please, come back to me. I still love you. I said, I do not know what you are talking about. <coughs> Don't touch me. <coughs> Why are you bent on destroying my happiness? Why are you a joy killer? Stay clear. I am warning you. Stay clear. <gasps> My prince! You don't want people like me. You don't want people like me. It's a sad that you stop this madness. I this used to do something that this kingdom will break. You are not here. Nah. Open up. Mind what you are doing, open now. I said stop that. Take your hand for me. I said stop this madness right now. Leave him. Oh, 
tell your useless son to stay off my woman, else my he won't survive my heat. My, 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 my prince, my prince, my prince, my prince, please. My prince, please. No, 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 no. Please. I will teach you a lesson that will never forget in your life. No, 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 my prince. I, mean, I think you can beat me to this. Please don't do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please. Please. I don't think you can beat me to this. Both of you don't think you can beat me to this. Obinina! Obinina, you are too small for me! Both of you should stop this. Stop this! Stop this nonsense, both of you. Please, don't do it, please. Don't do it. Don't let me bring out my gun. This is nonsense. Obinina said, stay clear! This is nonsense. Leave you! You find that the king is standing here. You can't even accord him some respect. We, the elders, are here. And you are displaying this nonsense. Hey! Nadozi, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing! Daddy has to warn him. That warn him to stay away from my woman. Listen to me. Both of you are pushing me so hard. If you push me further, be very careful. Very, very careful. Didn't you see how the king acted? when he saw his two sons fighting each other? Njoku, the issue among the princes is already a very heavy weight on the king's shoulder. The man is tired. I think the king is weak. If he cannot resolve an ordinary issue between his two sons, he should be considered weak. Oh no, Njoku. No. There is no point calling our king a failure. Eh? I'm very much sure that this matter will be resolved. Eh? He, our king has a whole lot of issues to attend to. He's just being a human. Eh? Don't worry, he will attend to all this gradually. Eh? Well, if you say so, no problem. We just pray that the issue doesn't get out of hand. Because Whatever affects the head affects every other part of the body. The recent characters of the two princes is demeaning. We shouldn't allow our children to emulate. No, no, you're right. <clears throat> we, we will talk to the king about this before Obama in Yokugu is set on fire. Eh? <laughs> I'm seriously getting tired of this palace. This fighting between Prince Nadozi and Obina is really getting out of hand. One day they might just end up killing themselves. You are very correct. The both of them are just behaving as if they are kids. <sighs> I blame Uzubi. Ever since she came into this palace, everything has turned upside down. Don't even let Prince Obina hear this from you. He will kill you. I think... I think Uzubi gave Prince Obina a love potion. Why would you say so? The both of them are fighting over her. Does it mean she also gives Prince Nadozi the same love portion? Oh, yes, it's very much possible. That girl is evil. Now tell me, why would they be fighting over her? How can two people be claiming ownership of one pregnancy? That means the both of them slept with her. That girl is something else. Fia. <laughs> she is smart. <laughs> Hold on. Is that what you call smartness? Mm -hmm. 
for me, she's very cheap. Very cheap. And whatever plan she came to this palace with, we never work for her. Of course, it won't. What is going on here? Three of you mind what you discuss in this palace. You were employed to serve, not to gossip. Now, before I open my eyes, three of you disappear. Go back to work. No sense. What are you doing here again? Sharon, let's just say I've come to see you. Can we talk now? If I say no, will you insist with what you want? Sharon, why do you see me as an enemy? Come on, we've been friends, we've been very good friends, Sharon. All really changed. I know you're hurting from the breakup, but come on, Sharon. I'm here to make you happy. I'm here to walk you through the pain, Sharon. I'm here to make you feel I'm here to make you feel better, Sharon. Your best friend dumped me for God knows who. He broke my heart. You were there all along. You knew of his intention. You did not stop him. You did not even give me a hint. Does that make you my friend? No. Sorry we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Sharon. Sharon, I'm here. I'm reaching out to you. Please hear me out. Please. I'm done talking with you. Sharon, I'm not going anywhere then. What did you say? You were not going anywhere? Yes, I'm not going anywhere until I talk to your friend. Is that you mad or you're crazy? What is wrong with you? No, no, how can you come into my apartment and give me orders? Sharon, you and I know fully well that I'm not moved by the voice you're raising. So, <laughs> calm down. You see? This is your problem. You have always been like this. Always wanting to have things your way. Reasons I did not accept you. This is it. Really, Sharon? Is that the way you see me? Is that what you think of me, Sharon? Come on, Sharon. I'm better than this. I've always, I've always wanted to be the best man in your life, Sharon. I've always wanted to make you happy. I've always wanted to... I've al Sharon, come on, I've always wanted to make you the best woman in my life. But you never saw all those things. Instead, you left me for Prince Obinna. Es excuse me. Are you trying to say I... I went for the prince? Yes, Sharon, you did. You left me for the prince. And you and I know this. Maybe I'm not the kind of man you wanted. But, but you never said a word to me. You, you didn't show me any sign like you wanted us together. You either like we're just friends and you gave me what I gave back to you. Sharon, you and I know that this is not the truth, Sharon. <laughs> Come on. I've, I've, always, I've always told you how much I loved you. I've always told you how much, how much I feel for you, Sharon. I've always wanted to show you to the whole world, Sharon. I've always wanted to make you very happy around me, Sharon. But I guess you never saw all this. Come on. I think you have been a little harsh on him. How long have you been standing there? I heard everything. I mean, everything the both of you said to each other. Monica, why? You know, I don't like people if dropping when I'm discussing with people. I am not people. I am your best friend. So take it easy. What is this, my king? You look troubled. As a wine. 
Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. My king, the crown of this great kingdom is on the head of that which is great and strong, capable of carrying the crown. And that which follows it. The gods knew this before they chose you as king of this great kingdom. As a one, my heart is heavy, very heavy. The royal family is no longer experiencing peace, which it is known for. It is now a battleground. It is riffing all over you, my king. So, what are the gods saying about all these things happening in my family? Hmm. The gods are still silent. Why? No, why? Why would they choose to remain silent over this? Why would they allow this befall me? What did I do? What have I done to make them decide to punish me this way? What is my offense, Ezewanyi? I need to know. What is my offense? My king! The gods are still with you. It is better for you to understand that the ways of men are different from the ways of the girls. Uh -huh. My king. Lola, what is it? I want you to pass a royal decree that Nzube should be sent out of this palace. She has done more harm to this royal family than good. Ugoeza Nzube is not to be blamed. It is our sons. They have decided to turn my palace into a war zone, thereby making it unsafe for everybody. My king, the two princes are no longer in good terms, all because of this maiden. Please send her out so that peace can return to this royal family once again. I see. Then what happens to our unborn child? Our unborn grandchild, what happens to that? What about our tradition? What do you say about that? Your Majesty, we don't even know if the pregnancy is ours. And the two princes are yet to know their fate concerning the pregnancy. In this term, Your Majesty, she either speaks or leaves the palace. Now listen, I have no issue with that lady. I have issues with our sons. And if they don't come together and walk as one, believe you me, I will be forced to do something very drastic that they will never, ever forget in their lives. Talk to them. Talk to your sons. What is all this? Eh? Is it, is it the only palace that, 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 that will have two princes? What do they need that I have not given to them? What is it? They want to send me to an untimely grave? Uh, your Highness, I left all I was doing as soon as the, the palace guard told me you needed to see me. Your Highness, I hope everything is fine. David. Yes, Your Highness. Are you still the nice boy? The very good boy from a very responsible family that I used to know? Yes, Your Majesty. I I'm still that very David you used to know. I hope all is well, Your Majesty. David, all is not well. And you won't tell me that you do not know what is going on between my two sons and this palace. I am aware, Your Majesty. Good. Now tell me the truth, David. My son, Prince Obina, is your friend. Is he saying the truth about this girl? My king. Honestly, this whole thing looks like a drama to me as well. I don't know who's saying the truth amongst the two princes. But I know that uh, some time ago, Prince Obina told me that he, he has found a girl he needed to make his wife. But I never knew she was already pregnant for him. Okay. Which means you were surprised when you got to know that the girl was carrying his baby. Yes, Your Majesty. I am more than surprised. Alright. It's okay. What is it? 
Huh? You look so quiet and moody. I am your friend and sister. Tell me what the problem is. Hmm? Chama, are you seriously asking me what the problem is? Really? You're asking me what the problem is when you already know what the problem is. Uzube, I, I don't want to believe you're still bothering yourself over nothing. Chama, do you know the gravity of the situation that is on ground right now? And you sit there and make it look like it's a very, very simple thing. Uzube, don't mess things up by yourself. I've already told you what to do. Just go and do it and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. And you think it's that easy? No, I know it's not easy. But no matter how difficult it looks like, you have to make it very simple. But I can't. I can't. Nzubechi, telling these people the truth will only make you a loser. They will see you as someone without self-respect. Yeah, Cheap and loose woman. And if that happens, the king will not allow any of his sons to marry you. They will send you out of this palace. Do you really want to face the wrath of the people of the Wuha community? What are you doing here? I think the question here should be, why are you here? What's your mission here? I don't understand. What do you mean by why am I here? Prince Inna Duzie and his younger brother Prince Ubinna have been living in peace for years. And suddenly you just appear from nowhere. <laughs> and you're trying to tear them apart. And who told you she's here to tear them apart? Ask him. Actually, I haven't come here to brag what's with you. I've only come here to talk some senses into her. So young lady, I beg you in the name of whatsoever thing you respect. Please unravel this situation. And what exactly do I have to unravel? Huh? Oh, come on. Where on earth have you ever heard that a young lady got pregnant for two young men? At the same time, two biological brothers. Come on, something is wrong somewhere. And you are the only one who can help us out of this situation. And what makes you think you can walk in here and, and, and say whatever you want to say? You know what? I want you to leave this room. Get yourself out. Get leave! Out. Oh, wow. My prince, oh, what a pleasant surprise. You know, I never knew you know my place. What can I offer you? Uh, Dave, don't bother yourself. I'm okay. My prince, this is your first time being here to my place. It definitely looks somehow if, if I don't offer you anything. Dave, I know it's my first time coming to your place, but like I rightly said, don't bother. You see, I am here for us to discuss a very important issue. Uh, okay, uh, as it pleases, my prince. Good. You are a very close friend to my younger brother. And as such, you must know everything about him. Right? Yes, my prince. So tell me, what do you know about him and Nzube? My prince, can you um, make the question a little bit straight? I mean, the particular thing you, you need to know. It's okay, I'll go straight to the point. Where and when did both of them meet? Honestly, my prince, I am not comfortable with this question. But... Due to the situation on ground, I'll answer you. Oh, good. Yes. I only got to know about their relationship while you were outside the kingdom for your medical treatment. Hmm. Hmm. I see. 
And uh, what about the pregnancy? Actually, I also do not know much about the pregnancy uh, because Prince Ubinna kept everything to himself. Everything. I see. I see. Ah, Dave. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's nice having you, my friends. Thanks for your time. It's okay. What's all this? What's really going on? Wow. So, 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 you are the one causing havoc in this palace. Who are you? Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Sharon. I'm Prince Obina's girlfriend. What? No, no, no. Don't put up that drama with me. You act naive, yet create havoc in this palace. Listen to me. I will disgrace you. Trust me. What have I done to you and why are you talking to me like this? You think you can come from nowhere and take my man from me? Girl, you are mad. You are crazy. Because I will make sure I expose you and disgrace you out of this palace. What is wrong with you? Why can't you leave us alone? Mm, sure, sure, sure. I did not come here for you. So you better stay out of this. You witch, how long are you planning to keep this secret? I will expose you and that thing in your womb. What is going on here? <laughs> Nothing, just having a little conversation with her. <laughs> As minister of conversation or what? Leave. Because of her? And you know, I am disappointed. You should have gone for someone way, way better than me. That's trash. I hate repeating myself. And the next time you call my woman trash before me, I will disfigure your face. Gosh, she stinks. <laughs> She stinks! This is not over! I will come back for you! That's what it says. It is not over! Wait. My friends. Listen to me. Baby. I'm sorry, okay? Please. I'm so sorry. And you, come here. Please. Where were you when that thing was insulting my woman? Please. You were there moping like a moron, and someone is insulting my woman. Are you not supposed to defend her? <laughs> You're not supposed to defend her. Please. Come on, kneel down there. Kneel down on that song. Hands up and close your eyes. I'm watching. Someone is insulting my woman, and you can't. I said, kneel down, hands up and close your eyes. Kneel down, hands up and close your eyes. You will be dead in two hours. I'm off here. Your face, you don't look good. Did you have a fight with someone? I never knew that Prince Obina was this stupid. 
In fact, he is the world's most stupid and useless man. What happened? Do you think he, he dumped me for, for, for that? That village girl? That? Hey! You, you mean you, you met with the girl? I met with her. I'm just coming back from the palace. Eh? Hey! Shannon, talk to me now. Tell me, how did the meeting go? The girl, prince, everyone, just kiss me now. Monica, it did not go well. As a matter of fact, I do not want to talk about it because I'm not happy. I'm very angry. Okay, then uh, fine. No problem if you want to talk about it. You can go inside and freshen up. I called this meeting because I want to bring this madness to an end, here and now. So, Mr. Bechi, what relationship do you have or did you ever have with my son? Prince Nadozie. Speak. Or have you gone deaf and dumb? Don't waste our time here. Mm, go, go it. It's alright. Please allow her. Talk to me, Mr. Bechi. What do you have with my son, Nadozie? I do not have anything with him. I have never seen him or had anything to do with him. In fact, the very first day I stepped my feet into this palace was the first time to see him in my entire life. My love, you're lying. And you know it. You are lying. Tell the truth. Father, don't, don't listen to her. She's not telling the truth. You know, those Give it up. The game is over. Now listen to me, Natasha. You're my first son, the heir apparent to my throne. Everyone here knows it. Please behave like one. Henceforth, I want you to take away your face, your eyes, everything about you from this girl. She belongs to your younger brother, Prince Obina. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Agadina Wofe. Agadina Wofe. Stay clear. Makan Oneri, Edigay. Oneri, Edigay. This case is settled today. May you live your life. Thank you very, very much. Baby, are you okay? I'm fine. I just want to be left alone. Why? Nothing. I am fine. It's just that I am. I've never been in such a situation before. I just need some time to clear my head. Alright, I... I understand. Take your time, okay? Trust me, you will pull through this. I love you too. myself into.
je lovu chuku zobanyu u i je lovu o jurumanya u i je lovu o tonto america what a world love indeed love is very wicked love that food that looks and smells so nice when served tastes so delicious when eaten yet Beneath it lies a very dangerous poison that is worse than the venom of a cobra. Love, indeed, you are very wicked and dangerous. <laughs> Nzube, why did you do this to me? Why do you have to hurt the heart that loves you so much? Why do you have to betray me? All the love we shared. No, please stop. Stop. Stop it. Hello. What's the problem? No. Nothing. I don't just want to do it. Why? Don't you love me anymore? I love you. I love you so much. But I don't just want to do it with you. Why are you sounding this way? Listen, it will be very painful for me to sleep with you and you leave me. But I will never leave you. That's what you always say. After sleeping with a person and then you abandon the person. This day, I swear to abandon you. I will never leave you no matter what happens. I'm lucky with everything that makes me who I am. It's okay, it's okay. Look, if you do not want to do it, fine. I'll give you that chance. I will never touch you. Okay? Are you for real? I crossed my heart. Oh. You have just proven to me that you are a real man. Take me. Take me and do to me whatever you wish. Are you sure, please? My love. Come. Come. Show me the man. Make me feel like a real man. Do it to me. Nzube, Nzube, why? Nzube, is this the love we promised each other? Why did you have to throw away what we shared just in this frame of time? Love. Thank you for showing me the worst side of you today. I am indeed grateful.
yeah, my friends, uh, you're sounding so so excited on the phone. Yeah, what's the secret? Is there something you think I should know? Baby, I am a winner. Yes, I have finally gotten that which belongs to me. A winner? What do you mean by that, my my prince? Sorry, sorry for my curiosity. I am talking about a story. The whole thing has finally been settled. But it's mine. She is mine now. Come on, how did it happen? My father called us for a meeting some hours ago. She asked me to tell him if she ever had anything to do with Prince Lazarus. But she said no, that she doesn't even know him. As a matter of fact, the day she came to the palace was the very first day she saw Prince Lagosi. What? My father ordered Prince Lagosi to stay clear from my story. Honestly, this is one of the best news I've had of recent. Uh, don't you think it calls for a celebration, my prince? What do you think? You're right! Exactly why I called you. Get dressed and meet me up at our usual spot. Exactly. Exactly, my prince. Then catch you, catch you, catch you later. I'll go get dressed. It's fine. Yeah, bye bye. Yes, my friends. Whoa! Agatha, why didn't I see you yesterday as planned? I was very busy with work at the palace. I'm really sorry for not coming. Please forgive me. Have you done what I asked you to do? Yes, yes, What's the situation? Wait, wait, Agatha. Don't tell me you've not been able to do the little assignment I gave to you. Sitting back here of the princess makes me feel as if you are thinking. I I don't understand. Agatha, are you still with me on this? Or have you been bought over? I hate that girl's passion. I honestly wanted her to leave the palace. Did I just hear you say wanted? Meaning you've changed your mind? I haven't changed my mind. The only problem here is that the king summoned the girl yesterday and she told the king that she does not have anything to do with Prince Nadusi. The king ordered Prince Nadusi to stay away from her, that she belongs to Prince Lopita. And the way things are going right now, that's the way I'm Prince Lopita will continue to get married to her. What? I, I knew it! You, that girl is a witch! I knew it! I... Alright, we shall see. still didn't touch your food. Since yesterday you have not eaten anything. For how long will you continue to do this to yourself? Mom, am I crazy? Mom, do you think something is wrong with me? Mom, do I have mental issues? No! None of the above. Nothing is wrong with you. Mom, then tell me. Why did she choose to lie against me, Mom? Why? Mom, Nusubi and I had a very strong connection. 
mom was seriously in love when she took him and she told me she was pregnant for me. Mom, I accepted. And I plan to make her my wife and she accepted. Why did she lie against me? How can she and my born child slipped off my hands just like that? Mama, I am going crazy. I need an answer. Something's go. Someone just tell me what's yeah, going on. Come down. Come down. Mom, calm down, you said. How do you expect me to calm down, mom? Tell me. How do you expect me to calm down? But I'm losing it. I'm going crazy. Why would she lie against me, mom? Why? My son. If you are truly sure that pregnancy belongs to you, then you should not worry yourself. I will speak with the father to talk to his way to go for a paternity test so they can be determined between both of you who owns the child. You promise you will do that for me? my word for you. But before then, you just have to start eating now. I, Mom, for that singular reason, I will eat. I, I promise you, I will eat. Shall I call the name? Yes, Mama. Tell them to get my food for me. I will eat. Thank you. Ah. What is it? What do you really want from me? Sharon, I want you. Why? Oh, you want to finish what your friend started? What about you want to ruin my life? What have I done to deserve this? Look, this has nothing to do with my friend, Prince Obina. This is about me. This is about what I feel for you, Sharon. Don't you get it? David. The more I look for one reason to trust you, the more I get a thousand and one not to do so. Come on, Sharon. You are the one stopping yourself. Come on. You just have to loosen up a bit. I need to be left alone. Sharon, wait. Are you asking I should leave your house? You know, one thing I like about you is that you're very smart, very intelligent. I am happy you got it yourself. Now get out! Sharon, you're getting these things too far. Sharon, ah, please! And what is it you said you wanted to discuss? Your Majesty, Prince Naduzi is still insisting that he has something to do with Nzube and that the pregnancy belongs to him. You see, I am beginning to believe Obina when he said that Natosi is not well. How can you say something like this about your first son? Is it not obvious? No, is it not obvious? In his very presence, this lady denied him saying she never knew him anywhere except here in the palace. So why is he insisting and claiming that this pregnancy is his? Why? Your Majesty, I think I have a perfect idea that will put an end to this problem permanently. Oh, come on, come on. I'm all right, yes. Let me get it. Let Nzube undergo a paternity test. In that case, we will know who is lying and who is telling the truth. You're right. I have, I have thought about that earlier. But why I did not go ahead with it is that I, I didn't want the whole issue to go viral. You see? And you think the issue has not gone viral? My husband, this issue is no longer a secret. Let us do this and put a permanent stop to this whole issue before it consumes us. Anyway, you have a point. I will do something about that. I will. Mary, 
Tell her what you want her to do for you. She is listening. Nemiri, as a wine. Was in a million tabo. Nemiri, you are the mother of love, peace, and justice. I have come to you with a broken heart. For that which belongs to me has been taken away from me, and there is nothing I can do. Nemiri, in a funny fe, in a funa more. I have come that you shall fight for me and give back to me what rightfully belongs to me and expose everyone that is behind this. Are you sure that that which you are fighting for is truly yours? For if Nemiri finds out that that which you claim to be yours is not yours, she will not be happy with you. Nemiri, you are the mother of love, peace, and justice. What I am fighting for belongs to me, and I am sure of what I am saying. What do you have for the sacrifice? Nemiri, I have nothing but only money. Then do that which is needful. Drop it. Arise, Nemiri, the great mother of peace. Arise, Nemri, the great goddess of truth and justice. Arise, Nemri, the great mother that protects our children. It is done. Go home. Thank you, as a wine, Nemri, for I know you're the mother of peace, love, and justice. I greet you once more. You're welcome, my son. Go home. Uzubechi, Papa. I can't believe you are this stupid. I did not train you to be what you have become today. How can you get pregnant for a man who has not married you properly? Do you know what will become of you if our people hear of this? By the way, why are they still keeping you here? Why is it that they have not come to do the marital rights? Papa, good day, sir. Good day, Kevin. Papa, can't you recognize me? I don't know you. I don't recognize you. Papa, look at me very well. I believe you can recognize me. It seems I've seen someone in this face some, somewhere before. My name is Nadozi. I was a copper at Iwaha community. That was the day I visited your daughter. You cautioned me not to visit her anymore. I think I can remember. Uh, uh, but uh, are you a prince? Thank God you remember me. At least I have a witness. I want you to follow me to see the, my father, the king. I want you to talk to him. Papa, 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 no, 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 please, please, don't, don't, don't. don't, don't. Why are you stopping him? Why? Everyone needs to know the truth. What truth? Papa, follow me. Let's go. Mm -hmm. What truth? What is going on here? Not to see. Please. Please, don't do this, I beg you, please. My prince, the king wants to see everybody in the living room. He said immediately. That's okay. I'm coming right away. <laughs> Papa, please, we need to go and see my father now. <laughs> what, what is going on here? Please, can someone explain to me what is going on here? What is it? What is your problem? Sharon, you are my problem. How? Look, David, your parents should bury their heads in shame for giving birth to a son like you. Whose problem is a girl who does not even have an atom of love for him? Are you this shameless? 
Sharon, don't you get it? Can't you see I'm stupidly in love with you, Sharon? And I'm not even ashamed of it. And I am not interested. I do not want you. Sharon, you know something? Honestly, I blame myself for letting my friend come close to you and do the things he did with you. Sharon, I don't want to make that kind of mistakes again. I've sworn to do everything it takes to make you happy, Sharon. David, are you sick? Do you have a problem with your, with your brain? Eh? I said I do not want to get out! Sharon, please. At least give us some time. Just, just give us some time. We, you just have, have to talk this over. Davy? Dave, darling. You want some time. Okay. Um, give me a moment. I'll be back. this you know what thank you very much but this I promise you it can never change my feelings for you child Sharon that was bad of you Sharon why did you go that far seeing that idiot reminds me of everything I went to with his friend. And he should pay for what his friend did to you, Sharon. That's bad. Listen very careful. Look very well before you leap. Understand? And don't say I did not warn you. Excuse me. I have seen the maternity test result. My wife went to the hospital yesterday and she came back with it. The result says that... Uh... Your Highness. Yes, what is it? Some group of people are outside. They want to see you, sir. Please tell them that I am in a very serious meeting. That I'll see them later. As you please, Your Highness. Go ahead. Sorry, I, I, as I was saying, the result says that Prince Nadozi here is not the father of the baby. No. Something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. No, Dad, that result is incorrect. That result is not correct, Dad. Not it is not. not. Not yet. I have had enough of your drama in this family. And that madness will stop henceforth. Did you hear me? Your Highness. I'm no longer happy. I have come here today to let you know how very unhappy I am. My daughter has overstayed here, yet your people have not come to do the right thing. Despite the fact that she is pregnant, or the woman to have... Uh, Eche, I understand how you feel. Please calm down. Calm down. Uh, I am assuring you that with the latest development now, we will be coming for the material rights very soon, okay? Uh, I ask that you please forgive the royal family. We will right all the wrongs. I've heard you. Only do it, It's okay. It's all right.
What? Um, Sharon, see, I just got off the phone with David. Listen, he seems to be a nice guy and mean well for you. Monica, I don't want him. Listen, my dear, I understand how you feel. But I think all you need to do right now is give him a chance and let the love swing. Hmm? Monica, I am going through tough times. I mean, I am crying my eyes out because of the love I have for someone who betrayed me for a native girl. Can you beat that? I know. I understand Prince Obina betrayed your love. But can't you read the handwriting on the wall? It's obvious he is not the man in your life. He is not the man for you. Just let him go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my darling friend. At least you understand. Yes, but then you still have to give David a chance. And I still have to be very careful. Just a chance. Hey. <laughs> Is this really possible? How on earth can this be possible? What is really going on? How did I find myself in all this? What am I going to do now? How will I be able to clean this mess? I really feel for Prince Nadus. Why do you say so? What do you mean? Don't tell me you don't have human feelings. What feelings? Huh? How can he be claiming what doesn't belong to him? But he's in love with her. <laughs> what kind of stupid love is that? Eh? Don't you know it's an abomination to be in love with your brother's wife? But they are not yet legally married. So, he cannot go ahead and fall in love with her. Listen to me. Be mindful of the things you see in this palace. Okay? As you can see, eh? <laughs> you already know I was busy in the kitchen. I'm going back to work. My God. If you choose to leave me, there are better ways of doing that. Instead of playing these dirty games just to hurt me. You're the cost of this. You abandoned me the moment you left my community. Not to say you hurt me. You used me. You dumped me. Tell me, what was I supposed to do? Isabel, I never abandoned you. I never used you. I did not dump you. So we go out there and tell the truth. Do the needful in Zubay. Do you know how empty I feel each time I look into your eyes? Please, I, I want you back. What are you doing? Stop this! Stop it! I want to be left alone. I want to be left alone. Okay. 
My life is empty without you. Isabelle, you really need to come out of this mood. Does it look like I care? You think it's easy for me to come out from this mood? Mm. You just have to share it. Let me share it. Agatha, what is it? My queen asked me to bring these dresses for you to make any of your choice for your former introduction. Drop them in my room. I am not in the mood for this right now. The queen will not be happy. Take it out of this place. Nonsense is this. That wasn't nice. You were too harsh on her. Does it look like I care? Please, don't spoil things with your attitude, okay? Just calm down. Everything will be alright. What is going on here, Enzwe? The maid said you didn't look at the dresses I bought for you, let alone picking any. I am sorry, Your Majesty. A lot of things on my mind right now. Oh, my dear. You can talk to me about it. Does it have anything to do with Nadozie? Or is it still troubling you? No. I'm fine, Your Majesty. And does it have anything to do with the pregnancy? Your Majesty, I am fine. It's okay. If you don't want to talk to me about it, you can at least share up so that the king will not think we are maltreating you. Okay? I've heard you, Your Majesty. Good. Share up.
You still love me, right? I'm sorry. I don't know what. Shh. You still love me. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your body language. I can see your heart speak the language of love. You can't deny it. It's written all over you. I am not crazy. What are we going to do? Uh, my son, where are you going to? Father asked me to call Prince Ndabazia. Right now? Yes. Ah, just call with me. Come, come. No, what I sent me to call Prince. It's okay. Just go and do what he asked you to do. I'll talk to you some other time, okay? All right. Uh, my prince, uh, you sounded so urgent on the phone when you called. Yes, because I don't have time on my side. Sorry, my prince. Uh, what time are you talking about? Come on, David. My marriage is around the corner. I'm getting married soon. So I need you by my side as my friend all through. <laughs> Wait, this, this is not happening, my prince. You, you mean you're telling me that you've already fixed the date? Listen, we are starting with formal introduction. You know the other date was postponed due to what happened on that day. Okay. We're moving on. <laughs> My prince, this is wonderful. <laughs> I have another good news. You know you're full of surprises, my prince. According to the medical report, the pregnancy is mine. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is a great news, my prince. Uh, this is wonderful. Let's just have a toast. Honestly, uh, but that reminds me. Where is your wife? Where is she? My wife said she needs space. That she has been through a lot. That she needs space to put herself together. And I was like, okay. Take your time. Yeah. I, I think she has a point. You know she's a woman. And actually she has been through a lot of problems and, and, and pressures these days. I, I think she has a point. So tell me, what are we wearing on that date? You have a point here. Yeah. Uh, sure, sure I'm dressed already. <laughs> uh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm actually waiting for him to come over so we can uh, uh, proceed to the place. No, 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 don't, don't worry. Don't worry about that. We'll be there in a couple of minutes. Okay, I'll come back. Uh, welcome, my prince. Thank you. Uh, my prince, you don't look very happy today. What's the problem? Please, sit down. Dave, I learned you at the palace earlier today. Uh, yes, my prince. I was actually at the palace earlier today. I hope everything is fine. My younger brother, your friend, is pushing me to the wall. Sorry, sorry, my prince. How do you mean? 
But he's not giving up. He has vowed not to give up on that which belongs to me. But my prince, I, I thought the paternity test proved that uh, the pregnancy belongs to, to, to your younger brother, Prince Obinna. Oh. He told you that. He did. Look, let me tell you something. I am convinced that he manipulated the result. He had a hand in that he wanted to place much one on me. But let me tell you something. Tell him that he can't take his away from me. Unzube belongs to me. Unzube is mine. Unzube is my woman. Listen, I don't want to do what I would do that all of us will live to regret it. But my I have spoken to him like my kid brother doesn't want to listen to me. I know he's your friend. Talking to you, I know the message you get to him. So tell him to quit. Tell him to leave. Tell him to leave my woman alone. Unzube belongs to me. It worked. It's enough for the wise. What kind of temptation is this? Today, Prince Obina, today, Prince uh, Obina, tomorrow, uh, Prince Nadu. What? Ah. Obina, you think you can come from nowhere and take what rightfully belongs to me? You think you can take my joy away? You are a fool. A big fool. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're dragging a woman with your younger brother. You. Listen. Unzube is mine. And nothing can change that. If you dare me. If you dare me, I will fight you. Everything that makes me mine. And you know what that means. Quiet! One Zali you are for. It challenges each to a wrestling contest. I swear, I swear if you dare me, I will show you the other side of me that you will live to regret. Do I look afraid? You are just an empty vessel. Mm -hmm. You love noise. Oh, and quiet! Do not be a stubborn fly. What, what is all this madness for? Eh? I thought we have settled all this. Why are you people bent on destroying me and the entire royal family? Why? I am very disappointed at the both of you. What is the meaning of this? Will you stop that nonsense? Is he supposed to be dragging a woman with me? You should be ashamed of yourself. Stop it! Now, drop that gun. Drop it or I, I disown the, the, the two of you right now. I won't. Disown me. If you dare me, Father, I will deal with him. But I will destroy him! Listen, I'm tired of talking. One more step, just one step, and I'll blow your brain. <laughs> one step. Hey, 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 hey. What? Dad. What? Dad. What? Dad. What? Dad. You dead? No! 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 What is the meaning of this dream? Could it be that my key brother is planning evil against me? Or any member of this palace? How did we get to this point? But I can fold my hands and watch my younger one collect what trifling belongs to me. No. That will make me a fool. That will make me a coward. And that is a trace that cannot be found in the life of Fisher King of this great kingdom. No. No, I won't give up. I can't.
What is it? And why are you not sleeping by this time of the night? Chuma, I can't sleep. Sleep has eluded me. I do not have peace of mind. What do you mean by that? Stop pretending like you do not know what you are talking about. My conscience is disturbing me. Uzube, I don't understand what you mean by your conscience is disturbing you. You and I know that I lied. I lied. And each time I see him, I see his innocence written all over his face. I see the burning fire of pain and this makes me feel guilty. Besides, I think I still, I still have great feelings for him. Ms. Rich, have you gone crazy? What is wrong with you? Yes, I am going crazy. I am going crazy and I need to speak the truth and free myself before I go completely crazy. My good friend, I beg you in the name of whatsoever you respect so much, please, don't do what you're thinking about doing. You want me to continue to live in lies for the rest of my life? Utsubishi. Really? Utsubishi, we've not come this far for you to blow things up at this very minute. What do you think will happen when you're done telling the so-called truth? Don't you know the prince might get disappointed and leave you? The king might even order you out of this palace with your unborn child. Your integrity is at stake here. Choma, the same thing you told me that put me into this mess I am in right now. Choma, let me tell you. At this point, I do not care about my integrity. I do not care about the consequences my action will bring. Listen, I must say the truth. I must free myself and everybody from this bondage. Are you really the one talking? Uzubechi, have you forgotten what will happen if you return to our village with this pregnancy? I do not care. I do not care. My mind is made up and I don't care what you or anybody will say about it. I must say the truth and free myself. We, your children and loyal servants, humble ourselves before you. In the journey of life, men are bound to encounter different things. But in all, destiny must prevail. Hmm. No matter how strong or powerful a man is, he cannot change his destiny. Virgins of this great kingdom that chose not to defile themselves, no one, nobody, we temper with your destiny. May it be as you have spoken, great servant and I of Nemiri. Today, the fulfillment of destiny will take a different twist. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed every bit of the story. Yes. <laughs> okay, tell me. What's your plan for today? I mean, your program. 
God. That would be nice. Awesome. Beautiful. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, let me let you prepare for work. Have a nice day. Mm -mm. I love you too. <laughs> Bye. <yeah. clears throat> mm. You can see it's working. What? She know what I'm talking about. So cut the pretense. <laughs> okay, yes, it's working very, very well. And I pray it continues like this. Oh, come on. I told you to give David a chance because I know he's a nice man and he loves you a lot. But you sure about that? Sharon, you know the truth. So I asked you for something. Let's go inside so you give it to me. Please. Mr. <laughs> Bechi, we are all here now. Could you please tell us what you told me some minutes past? Thank you, Your Highness. I met Prince Unadus here when he came to my community for his NYSE program. We fell in love. And I got pregnant for him before he passed. He promised to get back to me as soon as he gets to his people. He left my community and never came back. I was devastated. I didn't know what to do since he failed his promise. And then I met Prince Obina. I decided to tell him that he was responsible for my pregnancy. Since it is a taboo for a girl to get pregnant in my community. He was happy and then he decided to marry me. I was shocked on that fateful day. On the presentation to the royal house to see Prince Donatosi. I was confused. I was surprised. I didn't know what to do. So, I decided to play along as my friend Choma advised me. I am very sorry for what I have caused the royal household. Please, please, you people should find it in your hearts to forgive me. I am sorry. Please, the truth is. Prince Unatus here is the father of my unborn child. Ms. Bechuku, you are mad. Why am I even calling you Ms. Bechuku? It's obvious you are not. You are Ms. Bechuku because no Ms. Bechuku will do this. I feel like, I, I, I feel like strangling you to death in your home. What are you saying? No, what are you saying? Father, how do we explain this? 
the medical report made it clear that the pregnancy is mine. So what is she saying? Isabel, what do you have to say about that? About that, I, I really do not know what happened. I was surprised myself. The truth is, Opina is not the father of my child. I was already pregnant for Prince Natuzi before I met him. Even though I, I never knew Natuzi is a prince. <clears throat> my king, maybe the doctors made a mistake. They are human beings, you know. <laughs> they are human beings. So how could you do this? How could you do this to my family? You turned my two sons against each other. I am sorry. I was misled. I, I didn't know what I was doing. This is ridiculous. I, in fact, this is irritating, annoying, confusing. I can't stand this, dear woman. So what do we what do we do now? Father. Zube has been the only woman I've ever loved. I still love her. And I'll forever will love her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Father, I want to marry her. No matter what has happened. Elizabeth, sit down. When you leave here, go straight and tell that your friend, Choma, to pack her things and leave this palace. Her likes are not welcomed in this compound. She's a bad friend. Prince Nadozie, my elder brother. I did not call you here for us to fight. No. In fact, I called to say I am very, very sorry for disrespecting you, for fighting you. I'm so sorry, okay? Please, forgive me. I mean, you are my elder brother, we shouldn't be fighting. So I'm sorry for all the wrong I did. Please forgive me, okay? Obi. Obi, no. On my own part, I will say I am very sorry for my constant outburst. You see, I was caught in the web. And I've come to realize that family is everything. Of course. And as a matter of fact, family is supposed to stick together as one. Thanks for your sense of maturity. Okay. Yeah. I want us to start up on a new slate. Like, let bygone be bygone. <laughs> I've forgiven you and my heart is pure. New slate. New slate. What <laughs> <laughs> love, bro? Thanks for understanding. Okay. And the worst has happened. <laughs> Girls of our land. Nemiri. Why did you allow this to happen to your people? What an 
evil and wicked destiny. What? Girls of our land, Nemiri, please. Men, men, look at what the bitterness of men has brought upon us. Hmm. Nemiri, please, gods of our land, please, do not, do not allow us to witness this evil again in this kingdom. Never, 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 never. What? What did you say happened to my son? What happened to him? I went to prison and those just room as you drove to check on him. Uh -huh. Only for me to see him lying dead on the floor. <laughs> get the guard, get the guard quickly. I don't want to believe anything will happen to my son, please. What is this? Eh? Alaribe! Alaribe! Oh no, there is a problem. Have you not heard? Heard what? The main strength of our king has fallen. Oko Sisa Dana no Bieze. Priscilla Dozier is there. Hey! 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 What happened to him? I don't know what happened to him. That is why I'm rushing to the palace. So let me go there and find out what exactly happened. Huh? Let, let's go ahead to the president. I was coming to the house. Oh, baby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Monica. Good day. How are you? I'm fine. And how are you doing? I'm good. Looking for Sharon? Yeah. Is she not at home? Oh, no. She went out early this morning and hasn't returned. But have you tried calling her on the phone? Yeah, I tried. I, I tried calling her several times, but, but her number is switched off. Honestly, I'm really... I'm really worried. Where could she be then? But I'm sure she's fine wherever she is right now. I just hope so. Don't worry yourself, okay? She's fine. I bet I should take my leave now. Okay, um, um, David, I must say this. You see, you guys look great together. You look perfect. Please do not let anything come in between you two. Keep doing what you're doing, please. It's okay, dear. Uh, thank you very much. And I will never forget that. <laughs> thank you so much. You look very sad and moody. What is the matter? Am I not supposed to be? It depends. Don't tell me you are not moved by the death of Prince Nadezi and all the happenings in this palace. I never said so. I'm tired of this place. I really want to go. If not that Prince Nadezi's death is still fresh, I would have gone back to my family. I'm getting scared of this palace. Same here. But what could be responsible for Prince Nadu's estate. Please, I don't want us to discuss about that now. I don't want to put myself into trouble, please. Okay. Nietzsche, I welcome you all. Mini Jackie on a Mokwa Kosako. The autopsy result is out. And the result is showing that my son, Prince Nadezi, was poisoned. Huh? And that is why I want to ask you, Prince Obina, because you were the person with him that night, at least the last person with him that night. So with regard to this new development, what do you have to say? Father. Yes. Are you suspecting me? 
Prince Obina. We are not here for jokes. Tell us why you sent your brother to an early grave. Uh, Prince Obina, um, tell us the truth. What angered you to the point of killing your blood brother? We want to know. My elders, sorry to say this, but I'm disappointed in both of you. Why would I kill my elder brother? Why? Please, I have no hand in my brother's death. I'm innocent. Obina, we understand you were the last person with him that night. You had some good times together, took a drink together, and went to bed. Oh no, I am not disputing that fact. I had a good time with my elder brother before he went to bed that night. But that does not mean I killed him. Why would I kill my elder brother? What for? Please, my elders. This is painful. I did not. I cannot. I have no hand in my brother's death. Even though you are claiming to be innocent, how come the two stones inside the boat, one boat, one sinks to the bottom and one is floating on top of the water? How come that your brother is dead after the night you had together and you are still alive? I swear by the gods, I am innocent. I know nothing about my elder brother's death. I'm innocent. <clears throat> Come, baby. Who gave you this very information? From a reliable source. From the palace. This is strange. I can't believe it. Honestly, it's very strange to me as well. Come, baby. Are you sure you heard the person very well? What are you trying to say? Listen. I heard everything the person said, word for word. Honestly, I can't just believe that Prince Obina is capable of this. Why? See, Prince Obina is heartless. Whoever that can do what he did to me is capable of killing. Yes! Sharon, what? You're still angry with him over what he did to you? Uh, no, 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 no. Monica, don't get me wrong. I did not say this because I'm angry. What I'm saying is the truth. Honestly, this whole thing looks very strange to me. We really want to know who is fooling who. We really want to know who is killing who. The doors are silent, we are in pain. We never can tell who's behind the scenes. So complicated. So irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look. The less you see, it's so complicated, so irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you um, look, the less you see. Officer, as a young man, the kingdom is in pain and will never be the same. Prince I guess. Fair is foul yes. and foul is fair. I am a gentleman from Counter Terrorist Unit. We need you for questioning on homicide issue in our station. Am I under arrest? No, 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 we're not arresting you. We just want to have some discussion with you based on the homicide issue. Abena, you go with him. All right. So irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look, the less you see. It's so complicated. So irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look, the less you see. It's so complicated. So irritating. You never can solve the puzzle. The more you look, the less you This world is nearly turning into what I cannot explain. How can a brother kill his own brother? A prince for that matter. I least expected this from Prince Obina. Because of a woman. Makanwani. 
A village girl at that. Hi. Oh no. This boy is heartless. Yes. Very heartless. Oh no. Hmm? Uh, Njoko. Uh, what are we going to do? Eh? As it as it stands now. Alaribe, what do you want to do? Oh, the police have already taken him away. Let him go. Let him go there and suffer. By the time he passes through the rough hands of the police, he will learn his lessons. Oh no. Are you saying he's going to come back to this kingdom? Coming back to this kingdom is not the issue. Even if he comes back, laws, natural laws, and the laws of the land will catch up with him. Nemesis will follow him up. How do you think that our Igwe will allow his son to be banished? The only child that is remaining. Someone that will rule after him. <laughs> I'm not seeing that happening. No. Alaribe, don't worry yourself. When the time comes, we will see how it will go. After all, we're not the people that sent him to do what he did. No. Mm -hmm. I really feel for the king. I feel for him too. Uh, I just wish that all these things didn't happen in the first place. You people can feel for the king or feel for the boy. For me, there is nothing we can do. There is just nothing we can do practically now about the situation. The only thing we can do is to sit back, keep our fingers crossed, while we watch the drama gradually unfold. It's a drama, and it is still unfolding. You have not said anything, Sandra. Tell us what happened to your brother. Who killed your brother? Believe me, I don't know. I don't know. I have no reason to kill my own brother. Are you possibly telling me you don't know what happened to your brother or who killed him? Officer, I swear with my life. I have no hand in my brother's death. Every department in police station can be messed with. City, you cannot be messed with. Probably you don't know where you are. I want you to open your gutter mouth right now and tell us what happened to Nadozi. Who killed Nadozi? I swear with my life, I swear by the gods, I swear with whatever you believe in. I have no reason to kill my brother. I, I did not kill him. I'm innocent. I didn't. Your swearing does not make sense to me because these days, the gods don't kill. Tell us what happened to Nina Dozier because you're not going to walk this place free. Except if you open your mouth right now and say the truth, that's the only way you can be free. Believe me, I'm innocent. So you think we are talking with you, right? I have no reason to kill my brother. I am innocent. Those that killed do not have much reason sometimes. Let me tell you. When I look at your face, I see homicide. Whether you like it or not, you must give us that information. What happened to your brother? You must give us that information. Officer, deal with this man. Oh yes, may you live long. And you too. Your mm. Majesty, it is no longer a news that we are not happy in this community. Mm. Yes. Concerning the incident that Prince Inna Dozier was killed by his own brother. We are not happy. So we have come to you so that we sit and discuss at least some important things concerning the situation. Let I greet you all. I am all yes. Whatever you think we should discuss, go ahead with it. Um, I want you to know that we are not in any way trying to lecture you on how to run this kingdom. We think it is very important 
to do what our law says concerning anyone who intentionally kills an innocent man or woman. Mm. Yes, but we all know that the matter is already with the police. So I think it should be better we allow them finish the investigation. It will help us know the truth and know what to do next. Don't you think so? I, Your Majesty, I don't want you to feel that uh, we are trying to add to your problems. All we are doing is to ensure that our laws are kept. Your Majesty, we've heard you. Well, as it is, we have to make a move. We will consult Ezewan for the cleansing of the land. Mm -hmm. Is it not? Mm -hmm. Since Ezemo is dead mm -hmm. and the gods have not been able to choose another for that position. Ezemwan remains the eye of the gods, mouthpiece of the gods. So we have to consult her. And we yes. We have to act very fast to avert further misfortune. Yes. Um, you don't cross a river with two legs at the same time. It's a young Are you too? Your Majesty, it is no longer a news that we are not happy in this community. Mm. Yes. Concerning the incident that Prince Sina Dozier was killed by his own brother, we are not happy. So we have come to you so that we sit and discuss at least some important things concerning the situation. Nietzsche, I greet you all. I am all, yes. Whatever you think we should discuss, go ahead with it. Um, I want you to know that we are not in any way trying to lecture you on how to run this kingdom. We think it is very important to do what our law says concerning anyone who intentionally kills an innocent man or woman. Hmm? Mm. Yes, but we all know that the matter is already with the police. So I think it should be better we allow them finish the investigation. It will help us know the truth and know what to do next. Don't you think so? I, Your Majesty, I don't want you to feel that uh, we are trying to add to your problems. All we are doing is to ensure that our laws are kept. Your Majesty, we've heard you. Well, as it is, we have to make a move. We will consult Ezewan for the cleansing of the land. Mm -hmm. Is it not? Mm -hmm. Since Ezemo is dead, mm -hmm. and the gods have not been able to choose another for that position, Ezemwan remains the eye of the gods, mouthpiece of the gods. So we have to consult her. And we... Yes. We have to act very fast to avert further misfortune. Yes. Um, you don't cross a river with two legs at the same time. One day, my son will ask questions about his father. And I will look him in his eyes and tell him that his father was killed by his younger brother out of jealousy. Obina, you're evil. You killed your brother a few days to his wedding? Really? Obina, I thought we'd resolve this whole thing. Now tell me. What do you stand to get right now? Tell me! 
What do you stand to gain right now? Hmm? You must be a fool to think I killed my brother because of you. Why would I kill my brother? No real man will kill a man because of a woman. Talk more of a shameless one like you. After all this time, you pull. You should be hiding your face in shame. Yes. You killed the man I love. You shattered my life. You will put in jail. You don't deserve love. After all you did to me. Your heart is evil. You have a bitter soul. You lack inner peace. And you should be interrogated. How dare you say this to me? You evil man. How dare you? You talk to me in this manner? You evil man! You will rot in jail! I bet you! How dare you! I bet you, you will rot in jail! Are you sick? After all you did to me? After all you put me through? Hey, hey, you say this to me? No, 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 Let me be! I need to talk to this evil no, man! No, take your leave. You're evil! Don't even let me talk to this evil man! I tell you, you will rot in jail! You will rot in jail! Rubbish. You will die here! Hey, it's enough! Don't make noise here! He's in the police custody as we speak now. Who told you that? I was just coming from the palace. Actually, I went to pay them a condolence visit on the death of uh, Prince Nadozi. Ah. Do you now believe everything I've been telling you? Do you now believe me? Honestly, I have no reasons to doubt you. They confirmed from me some minutes ago. I keep telling you that Prince Obina is evil. But you will not listen. I'm happy it's happening like this. Hmm. You know, I actually do not believe that Prince Obina did this. <laughs> How can, I mean, the Prince Obina I know cannot even hurt a fly. Not to talk of killing his own, his own biological brother. Come on. <clears throat> if that's how you want to say it, no problem. <clears throat> ah. Babe, uh, I think I have to go and see him tomorrow. Yes. Okay, I won't stop you. At least he's still your friend. Come on. He's also your friend. Eh? Yes. Please, change topic. Continue what you were doing before. I was enjoying it. We men. We men. My friend, it's okay. Stop crying. See, crying will not do anything for you right now, okay? Just stop crying. Choma, I am finished. I am finished. Why me? Why always me? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Everything will be alright. Just just look at my life. Look at what my life has become. Isabel, <laughs> remember you're pregnant. You need to be strong right now, especially for your baby. And it's for this pregnancy I got into this condition. What am I doing? What am I doing here? Now tell me, what am I doing here? If I had known, I would have aborted this baby. Mm -hmm. Or stayed back in the village and faced the consequences. Listen. Instead of coming back here to face all this. Listen, Ezebechi. This is not the time to start blaming yourself. I understand how you feel, but you need to take it easy. I was devastated when I heard the news. I, 
I just had to summon the courage to come see you. I don't mind what the outcome might be, but thank God the king didn't order me out of the palace like I thought he would do. It's okay, stop crying. Hmm? It's okay. <laughs> David, believe me, I'm innocent. I did not kill Prince in Nadozi. I have no reason to kill a full grown man. My blood brother, for that matter. Believe me, I'm innocent. Don't worry, my Prince. I believe you. You know, I have this very strong feeling that, that you didn't kill your brother. I mean, how can you possibly kill your own elder brother, your own biological blood? You do? Yes, I do. You know, you and I have come a very long way. It's not the things you're capable of. I know you can't, you can't possibly kill your own brother. David, even if I die now, I will die a happy man, knowing fully well that one person believed in me. Thanks for believing in me, David. I am innocent. You will not die, my friend. You know, I've gotten you a lawyer. Uh, yes, I want this matter to be charged to court immediately. And um, I've also gotten you a detective to, uh, uh, to handle the situation. Yes, because I believe the police are not doing every, anything to investigate on the issue. Don't worry, my friend. I'll do everything in my power to make sure that you get out of this mess. David, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, David. My God will reward you. It's fine, my friend. You'll be okay. My own friends and my busy. I have disappointed you. I have caused you pain and grief. But yet, you still love me. You never gave up on me. Now I know how hard life is living without you. I wish I have never separated from you. Disappointing you. I am sorry for the pain I have caused you. <laughs> Please forgive me. If I could ask for one thing, it's for you to come to me as soon as possible.
Young man, who are you and uh, what can the royal family do for you? Um, Your Highness, I am Detective Kingsley. I am investigating the death of Prince Nadoze. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Your Highness. I must say I understand what this royal house is passing through. Losing a son is very painful. And I'm here to ensure that an innocent man is no wrongly accused. An innocent man, you said? And who is this innocent man? Prince Obina. Young man, Obina is guilty. Not yet proven, Your Highness. Yes. Um, Your Highness, we all know that Prince Obina is your biological son. Do you really think he might want to hurt his own brother, biological brother, despite their differences? You see, I have come to realize something. That the heart of man is both dark, hard, and wicked. You see, nobody can vouch for anybody again, not even husband and wife. Um, Your Majesty, Prince Obino is your biological son. What do you have to say about this? I do not know what to say anymore. I do not know what to say. I am also surprised that my son, Prince Obina, could do such a thing. Mr. Detective, I advise you to keep out of this case. Obina killed his brother, Prince Nadozi, and I will make sure he faces the law. He will not just go free like that. Yes, he won't go free. What brings you to the shrine? Oh no. Where's the one? That's in Kanjo. Omen and I are the square born. Our tradition is it still intact? Or have the gods forsaken us? I mean, have they turned their back at us? Go straight to the point, oh no. The gods are still with us. They cannot abandon us. Listen, one. For days now, the hair apparent to the throne was poisoned to death. And we have not heard anything from the gods. We were behind And we are confused. Does it mean that Prince Obina is actually responsible for the death of his brother? Or. Do we have to look for the cause of his death from some other persons or... We, 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 we Worry not yourself, or no. For the gods, we do their own thing at their own time. Yeah. We, uh, we are familiar with this time. We know, we've been hearing it. The gods will do their thing in their own way. I think, no, 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 the man with the leaking roof, the moment the rain falls, he cries and his goats cry. We are worried. The king is worried. We are worried. There's a wine. Oh, no. Hmm? The evil that men do will only be hidden for a while, but will be revealed later. Soon it will come to open. And everyone will see. If an enemy, if an enemy, it's so complicated. If an enemy, if an enemy. Well, so baby, um, I think you should go and see Prince Obina tomorrow. He will appreciate it. I have told you before, I don't want to go there. <laughs> you know, whatever transpired between the both of you. I think this is the time you have to let bygone be bygone. He really needs your sympathy this time. He does not deserve it. Whatever thing he's going through now, 
That is what he truly deserves. And I hope he rots in jail. Come on, don't say that again. See, baby, I can be a bitch when I want to. You know, I'm kind of happy both of you broke up. Every disappointment they say is a blessing in disguise. Thank you for giving us a chance. And I promise to be the best man in your life. Hello, Chris Charming. This is your chance. Prove it. <laughs> Trust me, I won't blow it. And I love you. I love you too. Okay, so now tell me, does that mean that you're going to see Prince Obi now? Oh, not again. At least for my sake! Come on. Come here. Come here. So, how are you? I'm not fine. But I'm happy to see you. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Uh, David told me that the detective and lawyer he got for you are working pretty hard to get you out of this place. But my father is making it difficult for them because he wants me to spend the rest of my life in jail. You don't have to blame your father. Consider the fact that you're having too much problems with your brother, Prince Naduzi. But all the same, not to worry. The person that is behind us will be reviewed and brought to book very soon. I hope so. You and David are now together, right? Yes. I'm sorry for hurting you. In fact, I regret losing you. David is... He's a lucky man to have you. You're priceless. You're a special woman. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, thank you. See you soon. Outside. I hope so. Young lady, what is your name? My name is Agatha. Agatha, you are the chief maiden in this palace, right? Yes, I am. I am Detective Kingsley. I am looking into the death of Prince Nadozier, who died of food poisoning. Agatha, what do you have to say concerning that? Nothing. I don't know anything about his day. On that night, he had a drink with his brother, Prince Obinna. Tell me, who served the drink? Prince Obinna did. Did you actually see Prince Obina collecting the wine and the glasses? No. So who then served the drink? The Queen asked me to bring a bottle of wine. When I got to the kitchen, I met her with Prince Obina. I gave her the wine and left. Which simply means you don't even know if it was the prince or the queen that served the drink. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your time, Agatha. Hmm. The evil in the land has become so much. Nemiri, it is time for you to reveal the hidden truth. Hmm. The evil that men do can only be hidden for a while, but later we prevail. 
Nem miri! Nem miri! This is the time for me to offer to you a great sacrifice for you to expose them. Go. Go and get me the items. Go! As the one in the Kennedy, I am as the one in the Kennedy, I am. May you live long, Your Highness. Mr. Detective, what are you doing here? Haven't I warned you to stay out of this case? Um, yes, you did, Your Highness. So, um, but I'm here to see the Queen. What for? Um, Your Highness, if we must confirm if actually Prince Obina killed his brother, Prince Naduzi, then I really need to speak with the Queen. Young man, <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. What exactly are you saying? Um, Your Highness, I think your wife the queen has a hand in the death of your son. Please save me. Your Highness, they want to kill me. Don't allow them to kill me. Don't even allow them to take me away from here. I don't want to go to jail. No. Please, save me. Your Highness, be good. Save just, what, what is wrong with you? Save me, please. They are coming. Your Majesty. Tell me, what do you know about the death of your son, Prince Naduze? What have I done? What did I do? Hey, hey, save me, please, save me. Please. Listen, listen. Please. Listen. Look at my face and tell me something. Did you kill my son, Prince Naduze? Did you kill him? Answer me now before I strangle you with my bare hand. I did! I did! Eh? I did! What? I, I killed him. I killed him. Hey. What? Hey. What did I do? Hey. You what? I, I killed him. I, I, I served him. Poisoned drink. I poisoned it, his drink without letting them know what I, I, I did. Because I want to get him out of the way. So that he won't take what belongs to my son. Why? Why did you kill our son? Your own blood? Why? But why will you kill your own biological son? He is not my biological son. I did not give birth to him. Come, come. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean? I deceived you. Yes. So many years after I got married to you, the pressure was too much, so much, and I decided to adopt the son. And then I faked the pregnancy. I faked the pregnancy. So nine months, I went and adopted the child, and that child was Prince Nadozi. So, you've been disturbing me and deceiving me all? I've not finished. Yeah. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Soon after I adopted him, the God blessed me with my own biological son, Obina. Handsome child. But the doctors found out that he had problem with his scrotum and that he would never impregnate any woman. So, so, you know all this. So, when the paternity case came up, I went and bribed the doctor eh. mm, to give the report in favor of my son. I knew it. I did. 
I knew there was something wrong what with that resort. That? After that, she started confessing that the child she had in her womb was Nadoze's child. So I became angry and decided to kill Nadoze so that he would go out of my son's inheritance and become the prince. That is what I did. This is really serious. You are a wicked woman. You are evil. You killed the only man. The only man I truly loved. My God will judge you. You will rot in jail, my God. I think I was... I thought of it. Gwese, I am not in position to determine what will happen to you. But the law will take its course. Detective. I don't want to go anywhere. What shall we do? I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere. You better be coming up. Please, don't let us take me. Say something. Please, don't take me. 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 Don't take me.